Okay, so I have done this before in the past. I did a, I think I did a nine hour fucking stream about this, about 599 metal bands, which is quite a bit. Um, yeah, I think I had most bands that I listen to or most bands that are like considered metal and whatnot. Um, I will clarify though that, you know, this list, not everything is metal, which I didn't say in the, in the, in the stream. Um, but you know, they have metallic elements. So as long as they sh are somewhat metallic, uh, if they are somewhat metallic, I they are on the list. And I mean, I haven't made the list. So if you're going to bitch about that, I think that, uh, the user is in the description. Um, hardwired M with, with this picture on Twitter. So if you want to bitch to someone, bitch them. If you know, if you think, oh, it's not metal. I mean, I don't think that everything is metal, but like, I still fuck with it. I still listen to it. So, um, I will still consider, consider it in the ranking. But if you, um, you know, if you are indifferent towards it, then, uh, go complain to that guy. So there you go. Um, yeah, I did want to do this again because like it was nine hours long because I went so off track. I went so like off reels with my topics. There were times where I was talking about ragey music and like bands in that regard that were not even closely metal. So I'm not sure why I was doing that. I get easily distracted. So um, I decided to make a video because, you know, watching the stream back, I did have a lot of fun ranking the bands and I, and I had a lot of fun listening to my own opinions because you know they're my opinions so i think it's it's satisfying to hear the shit that you want to hear if that makes sense um yeah so um i basically wanted to do it again but there were times where i was like oh uh raging music these bands are awesome or shit um and we were talking about edgy band names which one of a uh, few server members brought up which i found weird but None of that is really uh, relevant to this right now, so I, I'm just gonna make a video, and you know, no one will uh, bother me, dis disrupt me. But funny enough, I did get disrupted just now because fucking delivery guy. Um, but you know, from now on, hopefully, I won't uh, get dis disrupted again because it's pretty annoying. But I will do this again. Uh, hopefully, I can do this in two, three hours max. Hopefully. Maybe something in that regard. Um, yeah, so hopefully I can knock this thing out in like two or three hours. So that is what I'm aiming for. If it's going to take longer than that, uh, well, hopefully it will not. But I mean, granted, before I hop in, I will like just do a quick ranking of all of these bands. I'm not going to go super in-depth because there are, there are 599 bands. I will not try to get distracted. Um, I will just kind of rank them i will not really look shit up i will just rank the band based on my feelings at the moment it might change again mm -hmm. by the way my feelings have changed on some of the bands so um you know some bands i gave like maybe i don't think i'd i i would lower any bands but i have listened to more bands and i would uh put some bands a bit higher or rank some other bands that i haven't heard much of before so Keep that in mind, it will not like be an exact replica of the stream, but it will be a bit different and hopefully it will be a bit quicker. So um, I'm, I'm just going to jump into it before I will stumble on my own fucking words and fall forever. Uh, so yeah, I'm um, not going to look anything up, not going to look anything up, just going to rank it on my feelings right now. Uh, day to remember, pose of garbage, they're still pose of garbage, they're, I don't consider them metal, they're like... A pop punk emo kind of shit band with hardcore elements, but I wouldn't call it metal. Uh, Abba, funny guy, but I haven't really heard a lot of him. Uh, Aborted is a deathcore band which I have heard a couple of times, and it wasn't really for me. They are interesting, but honestly, it does not really click with me. So, low tier. Um, don't know what this says, except. I'm just not really interested in them. Just kind of like generic kind of hard rock, death rock, you know, metal later, I would say. Well, they are metal, but they're like a more generic version of the Scorpions and a bit louder, I would say. It's just not really for me. Uh, Acid Bath, I love Acid Bath. I would almost put them in top tier, but I'll 
I'll put them in high tier for now. Um, Acid Beth's tone is fucking awesome. They have two albums, and I like both of them quite a bit. Uh, Finger Paintings of the Finger Paintings of the Insane, fucking awesome song. Um, Venus Blue, amazing. Um, Bleed Me in Ocean. I just fucking love the riffs on that song, on most of their songs. And when they have those, the screechy fucking gutturals, oh my god, with the with the acid bath tone and those screechy vocals, it, it's fucking heaven. It's fucking awesome. Um, I could put put them in top tier, but they only have two albums and they are pretty samey. So, um, you know, it doesn't it does get a bit old because they don't have a lot of variety. But their tone is just so fucking good. Uh, acid King, haven't heard of. Don't know what that says. Don't know. I think this is a band with an open member in it, but I don't remember much. Uh, After the Burial is probably the most consistent deathcore band. I would probably put them in mid tier. They're not my favorite. I would probably say that. How's the band called again? Um, uh, the Faceless. I would say that the Faceless is my favorite, but After the Burial they are pretty solid. They have a deathcore and a sort of melodic metalcore sound going on. So I do like it, but it does. It is a bit derivative. It is a bit meh. So uh, keep that in mind. But they are pretty decent. If you have to listen to a deathcore band, After the Burial is not a bad pick. Uh, Agalog, God Tear, arguably my favorite band ever. Um, their fucking tone, their atmosphere, um, their songs, they're all, most of them are amazing. I don't really care for their last album, but it's not bad. And all their other shit is fucking dope. So they're arguably a flawless band. Uh, I follow a critic that follows Ego to Damon, but personally, I haven't really been a fan of them from what I've heard um, Ahab oh yeah Ahab is a funeral doom metal band I wasn't really into their sound but I've only heard like two songs of their first album so I can't fully judge them so I'll put them in mm, maybe I'll put them in mid but I don't know I haven't heard enough um, Alcest I could put them in high tier I do like their first album quite a bit the song with Audrey, Audrey Sylvain is um Arguably a top one on the song for me. I'll put them in mid tier for now because they are a bit too mellow for me. Um, I do like Niche a lot. It's fucking Amoeba episode. I think it's really uh, entertaining. He has interesting taste. He's an interesting dude. His music is pretty mellow and pretty... Uh, well, not per, per se lo-fi. Um, I think that Alsys is like one of the first black gaze bands and you know, it's really... Like if you don't like Alsys, you probably will not like black gaze because they are kind of the creators of that sound. Uh, Dev Evan is, I think, the most popular band, which I do prefer because they hit a bit harder. I would probably say Amasurus is my favorite band in the genre, but uh, it's all a matter of opinion, but that, you know, that is how I feel. Uh, but also, I do like the first two albums, they're pretty good, but it does get a bit monotonous after a while, so I can't really listen to them a lot or too long, but putting putting them on from time to time, it's, it's pretty good. Um, Illstorm, kind of a generic, kind of a dumb pirate metal band. Um, I'll probably put them in Poser Guards because they just annoy me. Um, Alice in Chains, I'll put them in high tier. They are my favorite grunge band, Eat Shit Nirvana. Um, I think that Pearl Gym is obnoxious, you know, Soundgarden is pretty decent, but, you know, Alice in Chains and Soundgarden, I would say, are like the only somewhat metallic bands in, uh, in grunge, you know. And Alice in Chains is definitely the best one, I would say. Some will, some will prefer Soundgarden. And Soundgarden, in a way, is the best one. But Alice in Chains, they just hit harder, you know. The Dirt album is pretty great. Um, I like Jar of Flies a lot. Uh, there are some really, really melodic, really memorable songs on that EP. That's probably my favorite one to put on. You know, because I do think that Dirt is like their most consistent album. But it does have a few dodgy tracks, you know. I do fucking love them Bones and Wood, though, and Rooster's really good. So um, there are definitely some really fucking awesome songs. And Wood is arguably a top ten, top ten song for me. The uh, reason they're not top or gather is because Dirt is really the only album that really, like, hits you. Uh, their first album is pretty decent, Facelift, you know. Um, I do quite like the self-titled one, but it's kind of more mellow. It's more sludgy, which is cool. It's a cool sound, but I like Alice in Chains to hit hard, and they only really did it on their first two, so... Um, they do kind of shift in tone a lot, um, but I would like them to hit more, you know, hit harder. And Dirt is really the only album that does that um, consistently. So 
And that's the reason that I don't put them higher. Don't know this band. All Shall Pairs. I've heard a couple of their songs. Was not necessarily interested in them. Ellie Gay. Altar of Plagues. They're an interesting kind of post-metal band. They have a good vibe going on, but their songs don't really go anywhere. But I will not rank them because... Um, I don't know. Haven't heard enough. Only really their first and their last album. Their last album is kind of shitty. Um, Alter Bridge. I've heard a couple of their songs. This is like Limp Bizkit without Fred Durst. So if people like the instrumentation in the band but hate Fred Durst, then you can listen to this band. Personally, I haven't heard enough, so I can't really rank them. But people do like them or hate them. It's kind of like a love hate. It's kind of like kind of like Limp Bizkit. Uh, I'm on the Marv. I've listened a bit more to them. Still mid tier for me. Um, they are probably like the most middle of the road melodic death metal band for me. I think they're pretty overrated. Uh, they are like the most popular metal death band, or like one of the most popular bands ever in metal. Um, on Odin on their side, it's pretty good. I like that album. They have some albums after that which are kind of enjoyable, but Odin is really the only one I would say is enjoyable front to back. So I could put them in high tier for that, but I don't know. I'm on the They don't really excite me, but it is a decent pick. It, it is a decent band, I think. Amorphous, um, I've heard a bit more of them. I did put them in mid-tier at the time. Um, since that time, I really got into their song called Alone. Alone is a fucking amazing song. Put that on my playlist. Love the fuck out of that. Um, they have a good tone. They have a good atmosphere. I like the vocals a lot. Um... Yeah, I think the one with, like, the sun. I don't remember the title, but I'm not going to look shit up because it's going to take them too long. Um, but, yeah, they have some later albums in their discography, which I kind of dig. I, I'm not really into their early stuff because it sounds a bit too muddy, for me at least. Um, but Amorphous, they have good vibes. I want to uh, listen more to them because they are good. So I'll put them in high tier for now. Pretty enjoyable band. Don't know what that says. Ain't on the truck. This is Wyatt's favorite band. They are a black and grindcore type of band. And uh, recently I went to a record store and they had Ain on the truck on vinyl, I believe, or on CD. And um, uh, the person I was with, like, she was laughing hysterically at the name. And I was like, yeah, it's pretty ridiculous, but you know how grindcore bands are. Shit. Anal Cruises, don't know. Anatema. Um, mellow bands, kind of similar to Alsus, but without the shoegaze type of shit. They were doom metal back in the day. Uh, kind of like Niche, you know, because Niche was heavier in Amasur's with that EP. And Anatima was pretty heavy in the early days when they were more doom metal driven. I do like them more now because they have, um, like, oh yeah, also, like, I'm not gonna go on a tirade again about female vocals, you know. I, I, I love, I love me some female vocals, but, uh. I'm gonna stop fucking simping, you fucking cook. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna do that again, but um, I think she was called Anna Lee. I don't even fucking know her name again anymore. Um, but Anna Tima, they're quite nice. I like their weather systems all a lot. Uh, I'm gonna do fuck with their sound pretty heavy now. They, they became more mellower and more like an alternative, more of a progressive rock type of band with a more mellow sound, kind of like uh, Mok Wai or... Uh, explosion in the sky type of sounds, you know, more post rocky. So I fuck with the vibe. On the team is pretty good. Put them in high tier. Enjoyable band for that. You know, if you're into that type of sound, I wouldn't even call it metal anymore. But um, the stuff that is not really metal, I uh, I dig quite a bit. It's pre pretty ironic for this list. So, but they are pretty enjoyable though. If you like that more mellow, more atmospheric type of sound, and the team is definitely a band I would recommend for you. Angel Mark, don't know, but I've heard the name. <coughs> Angara, the band that did uh, a cover of Kate Bush, but I don't, I've never really sat through a whole album. I've heard that Kate Bush co cover and I was like, wow, uh, this is really gimmicky. Um, Animals as Leaders, yeah, they're pretty garbage. I would say shit there, they're, they're pretty unlistable to me. I don't know. You can defend them in the in the comments. Um, by the way, my Discord is Omanus Dawn. 6957 if you want to discuss anything with me you know if you think animals as leaders is a great band come at me but i don't think <laughs> that they have a lot of defenders oh wait wait i think i'm confusing them with asking alexandria animals as leaders is the is the gen band right yeah i think so 
Uh, that's kind of like that. Mm, I don't know. I put them in mid here. Um, so I, I apologize for anyone that was like, oh my god, what the fuck are you doing? Um, decent band. They have some good gent instrumentation. I was thinking about this band. Uh, well, I might as well just put them now there because this was the band I was thinking of, Asking Alexandria. I don't think that, that there are many Asking Alexandria uh, fans out there or defenders, I would say. Because there are some people that are fans that have shit in their ears. Annihilator, which is a... Um, they are a Canadian trash model band with the eh, loose inhale. That kind of shit. Not really for me. One of my least favorite trash model bands. Loads here. And tracks, I would put them in mid tier. Uh, pretty decent band, but I think they're pretty inconsistent. Like they had a... While, you know, they had a sound in the 80s, which I liked. You know, the Among the Living and... Oh, I forgot the fucking title of that album again. You know, the one before it, which I think I slightly prefer with Medusa on it and Madhouse, you know, sp spreading the disease, that album. Pretty good. Um, I'm not really into trash metal, so, you know, not anymore at least. So it is pretty consistent, but I'm just more into like slower grooves and more hard hitting type of shit. And trash metal is kind of the opposite of that. So, uh, did I say Anthrax? Trash metal is kind of the opposite of that. So, I'm not really into that sound anymore, but uh, it's still enjoyable, I think. Uh, Anvil, I've heard a bit of them. Didn't really do a lot for me. Appalling Spawn, I've heard of that name. Arch Enemy. I've heard a bit more of them. Still doesn't do a lot for me. I've heard some more songs with the new singer. It's fine, you know. I think that one of my server members, he, he shared a song. Um, I, I think their their tone is pretty good. I think that they have a decent tone, but their songwriting just doesn't go anywhere. It just sounds like really generic metalcore to me, or like melodic death metal that Gothenburg sounds. They are, I would say, Arch Enemy is like the bare minimum of that. Of like, you know, just kind of like the basic bitch type of band. You know, not even a, not even a war joke, but that, that's just how I feel. Uh, yeah, Lothar, I would say Arch Go. Don't know. I think this is Architects. Yeah, this is Architects. Uh, they they have a pretty good sound. They hit pretty hard, but I am not necessarily into their vocals. Their vocals are pretty dodgy, so I'll put them in mid tier because they do have some good riffs. But um, I'm pretty dodgy on them on them as a whole. I I'm not really into a whole album. I would say Arcturus. I put maybe in high tier because they do. I think they're interesting, but I put them in mid tier because they are inconsistent. I would say the only album that I really that I kind of like from them is I was called again the fucking the the Sham Mirrors. That album is pretty decent. I love Nightmare Heaven. That is a great song, but um, I don't really get excited by listening to them. I think they are just a bit too all over the place for me to really consistently enjoy them. But they are a unique band, though. I would say the first album is probably the most consistent, but I forgot the title of it. Armored Saint, the band with John Bush in it, who later joined Anthrax on their most enjoyable stuff. The White Kamal, you know, which is my opinion, their most enjoyable work, because it sounds pretty eerie. Um, but I haven't really heard the band. Artillery, um, pretty generic kind of trash metal band. Uh, probably the most bare bones one as well, but I've really heard enough, but it doesn't interest me. SLA Dying, uh, kind of a generic metalcore band, which I have not heard a lot of, so I'm not going to rate them. I don't know what that says. This is the worst band logo ever. I think this is At The Gates. Yeah, this is the At The Gates logo. Um, I'm still going to put them in mid tier. I, I know it's going to piss some people off because At The Gates is like the best Gothenburg band. They are the best melodic death metal band. I think they are extremely overrated. I've said that, I think, multiple times. I haven't really had the discussion with, like, a real At The Gates fan, but I do like their Slaughter of the Soul album. It's pretty enjoyable, but it is a bit one tone. The tone itself is not necessarily that enjoyable. It is decent. I do love the song, um, the first song of Slaughter of the Soul. I forgot the title of it. Um, I want to say Enemy of a God, but that's, that's the creator song. Uh, Blinded by Fear. Blinded by Fear is pretty good. I have the normal playlist with a with an AMV, which is pretty enjoyable. Uh, watch my weird mucor kind of shit. It's probably somewhere in, in my playlist, so watch that. Pretty good shit. 
I like that. Um, but yeah, I do think they're pretty overrated. So, eight years, I think I've heard their first two albums, but it's been such a long time I've listened to them, so I can't really honestly judge them. But um, they are like um, a technical death metal band, but I have other bands I prefer in that, in that style. I've heard them before, but it's it's been too long. It's been years. Um, out for you. This is a band that was on the Burnout soundtrack, which was pretty enjoyable. The right sort of the better some shit, but I haven't heard a whole album of theirs. It does sound a bit repetitive, but it, they have a good tone, though. I don't know what this, that says. This is the worst band ever. Still the worst band ever. Shit, they're garbage bands. Avoid them at, at all costs. It is not worth it. Um, looks like it says Autopsy, but this is Autopsy. Autopsy is a pretty meat and potatoes and death metal band. I would put them in mid tier. Um, yeah, they're pretty basic. They're pretty odd, I think. You know, uh, Mental Funeral is a pretty decent album. I think you should definitely check that one out because it's interesting. Um, you know, if you're into the death metal sound, otherwise not. Aventasia, Power Metal Band, Avatar. I've heard a couple of their songs, but not enough to rate them. Avenged Sevenfold, I put the mid tier. Um, I like their self titled album. I like the album with Bad Country on it. Maybe it is called Bad Country, I'm not sure. City, City of Evil? I think it's called City of Evil, I'm not sure. But um, those two albums are pretty decent. Nightmares, I you know, I love the song. Afterlife, if I didn't say it already, Afterlife is pretty, pretty awesome. So that's definitely a top tier song, but they themselves are mid tier because I'm not into M Shadows uh, vocals, and they are too much of a Metallica copycat. They're not that interesting. They're like a more metalcore version of Metallica, with weaker vocals, I would say, and kind of you know lack more lackluster instrumentation. I'm not saying that they are lackluster, otherwise I wouldn't put them in mid tier. And they have some awesome songs, but they also have some really like kind of drap shit like so far away and shit like that which i hate so um yeah i'm not a fan of that arion um i maybe i put them in mid or high tier i did enjoy what i've heard but i've not heard enough to rate him but he's like a conceptual progressive metal artist so it's a bit pretentious but he is from the netherlands i do enjoy him as a dutch artist because i dislike you know i'm from the netherlands i dislike most of my own bands in here um, and, you know, from my country, most of the music that we get here is fucking garbage. So, uh, but Arion is pretty decent. I, I, I have to listen to him more, but I don't know. Baby metal, mid tier. Um, they are pretty enjoyable. They are pretty much like chocolate or like sweet candy, like you know, gimme chocolate. Um, have a bit of it. It's pretty nice, but like listening to a whole album is, it's overbloating. It, it's, it's way too overbloated. So. Not sure if overbloating is a reward, but it's kind of overbloated. It's kind of a bit much, you know? So um, their gimmick is pretty cute, but it does get old after a while. But their sound is decent, though. They are like a, a fucking J-metal, J-pop melodic death metal band, which is pretty interesting. Um, so I'll give them that. I don't know what this says, but it's interesting design, but I can't read it. Battery. Um, I'll put a mid there. I should listen to Battery more, but their tone is a bit lo-fi, I would say. I would say him. I, I forgot how the guy's call, but, you know, he can't make music anymore. He passed away. But uh, Battery is not a band that I listen to a lot, but I do respect them a lot because they are, like, one of the forefathers of metal. Um, yeah, it's, it's really just a personal preference. Their tone, it just doesn't really click with me. I could give them loads here for that, but I know that Battery is, like, a legendary band, which I do respect, so... Mid tier, at least I would say. Uh, Beast in Black, generic power metal band, didn't do a lot for me. Low tier. Don't know what that says. Behemoth, really overrated hot topic bands. Uh, low tier. Don't give a shit about them. Um, if you like Behemoth, you can recommend me more stuff. But from what I've heard, I did not give a shit about them. So I don't know. But uh, if you like them, defend your band. Send me some shit that you that I might like, you know, or uh, cry about it, bitch. Um, don't know what that says. Be Laker, be Laker, meh. Their name is kind of shit, low tier. Um, kind of like a Gothenburg melodic death metal band, but 
more traditional, I would say. It did not click with me. I don't know why. Not for me, I suppose. And Bell Witch, I think this is an old band, which I have not heard. Bell Figure, might have heard a song. Benediction. Their covers are fucking dope, and their, their logo is pretty sick as well. So just on their aesthetic alone, I would I might want to check them out, but I haven't heard enough. I think they are pretty fucking rough. They're like a really brutal death uh, death metal band. So um, I don't want to give them another shot. Between the bear and me, um, this is actually um, this is actually the reason that I want to do this again. I want to make a video about Between the Bear and Me about um, you know what happened to them. Uh, there is like. Uh, I've gotten into the Alaska album, which I quite like now. But, you know, everything after Alaska, you know, Colors and Onwards, I don't give a fuck about it. It just sounds so generic. It sounds so directionless to me. I don't get it. Why are they this popular? I don't get their sound. Or, well, I get it. They are pretty acclaimed, and I do think they deserve the fame, but it just does not click with me for some reason. It just sounds directionless to me, so... I'll put them in low tier, but I do like their Alaska album. Give Alaska a shot if you like, uh, you know, more mathcore and more breakdowns and shit. Selkies is one of my fucking all-time favorite songs. Love the fuck out of that song, but... And then I hear shit like Astral Body, and I'm just bored to tears. So I am very mixed on this band. I want to make a video on them. Why, you know, what happened to them? Because Selkies is fucking amazing, but... Um, but everything, everything after Alaska, what the fuck happened? And even before that album, it is a bit inconsistent. So, I don't know. Not for me, I suppose. It just doesn't go anywhere to me. So, meh. The vocals are pretty decent, though. And the riffs are pretty good. So, I could put them in mid-tier. But I just don't. I don't fucking care about colors or anything after that. I do not give a shit. Um, and, yeah, I mean, that's what most people play. So... I would consider that shit low tier. Um, Black Flag, shit tier, garbage band. Uh, Henry Rowland is a funny guy. I will say that he's pretty funny. You know, him shitting on YouTube on the fucking Howard Stern show. That's pretty entertaining. But, you know, his actual music, I don't give a shit. He's better as a comedian. Black Flag is a fucking joke to me. Their tone is fucking garbage. Their songs are garbage. Their songwriting is just really fucking... Uh, just so basic so bare bones tv party tonight is an obnoxious song i hate everything about them i've heard damage and i uh yeah I, I was suffering i was in pain it it's really sloppy unprofessional punk um and i think black flag is like the worst influence in punk because a lot of punk punk bands were influenced by black flag and because of that a lot of bands just sounded like shit because black flag is garbage um, if you are a massive Black Flag fan, I'm not sure what you're doing on this video. I don't necessarily consider Black Flag metal. I just consider them a shit punk band. Uh, so come at me. Come at me. Um, Black Sabbath high tier. Um, I fuck with the Aussie era. I think that the DOR is pretty interesting, you know, with Heaven and Hell and uh, the Mob Rules. Pretty good. After that, I lost interest in them. So I think half of their career is pretty good. But the other half, I don't really care about the whole Tony Martin era. I don't really give a shit. I think that's his name, but if I'm wrong about that, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't want to sit here all day. Again. Um, but Black Sabbath, you know, Paranoid, classic, classic album. I love Iron Man. I love War Pigs. That live perform performance is fucking awesome. Ex especially Bill Ward and Tony and Yomi. They just go fucking crazy. And Geezer Butler, of course, is, is an awesome bassist. All the members of Black Sabbath are really fantastic musicians. So I definitely think they deserve that praise. I definitely recommend Black Sabbath if you're into more like older, more blues rock. You know, they are considered like the first metal band or like a doom metal band, which I think, you know, I'm not sure if I would say that. I would say most of their stuff sounds kind of like stoner rock to me. I wouldn't really necessarily consider doom metal. That's how it sounds to me, at least. Like <laughs> doom rock almost. That doesn't exist, but... um yeah, I don't know, kind of like a stoner kind of vibe. Would not necessarily consider doom metal, but uh, I'm not here to argue that. I just like the music. <coughs> Bless for me. Uh, Blind Guardian. <sighs> I've heard so much stuff of them. It doesn't really click with me, but they have epic compositions. Um, 
I've heard like their shorter songs, and I do know that you have to listen to their longer songs to really enjoy them. Uh, but yeah, for, you know, I've heard some of their longer songs, and there were parts that were pretty awesome, and there were some parts that I, that just bored me. So I'm pretty mixed on that band. Probably put them in mid there. I could put them higher. They they do interest me as a power metal band, but Blind Guardian is really fucking uh, obnoxious about most of their shit. So I don't know. They have epic compositions, but I would have to listen to them more to really, really put them higher. But they're, I feel pretty mid about them. Goat or some shit. Bloodbath. I put Bloodbath in um, in mid tier. Pretty meat and potatoes death metal band, which I I do enjoy that sound, but. Yeah, you know, I think they're a bit too middle of the road. You know, if you have like Paradise Lost and, you know, Michael Eckerfeld is in the band and uh, the Edge of Sanity guy, I forgot his name, but, you know, you got all those people in your band, which are all pretty good bands, I would say. And you make like pretty okay death metal. I'm like, wait, what? But you, but you have all these awesome bands in, in, in your band as a super group. Shouldn't you make like the best music ever? So Bloodbath as a concept is pretty awesome, but their actual music is pretty middle of the road. Like I think there are so many good members in, in Bloodbath, but I don't know. They, they just make okay death metal to me. It's kind of disappointing. Blue Oyster Cult, Blue Oyster Cult hard rock band uh, from the 70s, which I've never really listened to. Didn't really interest me. Not sure what they're doing on here. Bolt Thrower, pretty meat and potatoes death metal band as well. Um, pretty consistent band, but it the sound just doesn't really click with me. I don't really give a shit about them, so I put them in mid tier. I like their first time though because it's a bit more raw and a bit more interesting to listen to. But they're like everything after that is just kind of like just really similar kind of death metal shit, which just doesn't click with me. Does it say Bonda blah blah? Bonded by Blood, which is a pretty good uh, Exodus album, but I don't know the band. If the, well, Bonded Blood, you know, Bong Bong Ripper, awesome. Uh, Boris got here, awesome band. Uh, Boris has got here because you can essentially just listen to any of their albums and you will have a good time with Boris. You know, they have. A, a stoner rock album they have a noise album they have a shoegaze album they have a, a drone album you know with flood which is my personal favorite you have feedbacker you have pink you know you have um heavy rocks which is a stoner rock album and all of those albums sound fucking great the tone is awesome the atmosphere is amazing the uh, the riffs are fucking exciting and satisfying to listen to if you listen long enough to the band they made an album in Mersbau and it's actually listenable. So making Mersbau listenable, uh, yes, Boris can do that. They're fucking awesome. So yeah, if, if you want to argue with me about that, Boris can basically satisfy you in, in most of the genres that they have made an album in. And you will probably like some of it, you know? At, you will at least like an album of theirs. So um, yeah, Boris is a fucking awesome band. Born of Osiris is a deathcore band, which I've heard a couple of, their, couple of their songs. They're pretty middle of the road to me. Um, I would consider them mid-tier. I could listen more to them, but at the moment, I'm pretty mid about them. Uh, Botch is a mathcore band, which, you know, similar to Dillinger, Escape Plan, and Converse, they have that uh, pretty ear-piercing mathcore sound with the fucking screechy vocals and they have made an ep with like a quiet song which is weird because why why as uh as a mathcore band would you make a song like that like that but it is interesting i do think that their sound is interesting um yeah i've heard some of their stuff um it is kind of rough to listen to but they are an interesting band so i put them in mid there i think this bring me the horizon um, I got into their album with um, Moses on it. Sh Shadow Moses, which I think is a pretty dope song. Got that on my playlist with a, uh, a Fate AMV. Pretty dope. Not sure if I could really rank them because I haven't really heard a lot of their early shit. And I haven't really listened to like that new EP that they did, which is considered good. People consider that good. I like Shadow Moses quite a bit. I think that song is pretty awesome. 
Uh, they are a pretty dodgy band because you know they've done a metalcore album, they've done a deathcore album, they've done a post-hardcore album, they've done a pop album. So um, I think that they're, they're they are pretty diverse. I think they are a pretty diverse and interesting band, and they're pretty catchy. But they can be kind of an obnoxious band to some people, and they can be immature as well. But I think that bring me, bring me fucking on, bring me the rise, and they do kick some ass. Um, can't really rank them though because I haven't heard a lot, but. I love Shadow Moses though. That album is, um, I would say, pretty catchy. You know, metalcore and post hardcore. I fuck with it. Uh, so I could consider that high. I don't know. Don't know what that says. Is this. No, this is Bullet from a Valentine. Don't know what that says. This is. Is this Budgie? This might be Budgie. Yeah. Okay, Budgie is like an, an old school hard rock band, which was mainly, I think they either came before, after, right after Sabbath, I think, right before, after Sabbath. Um, and they are basically just a more derivative, more generic sounding version of that band. So I'm not necessarily interested in them. They sound pretty generic from what I've heard. Um, not sure if this, if this really says Budgie though. I think it says Budgie, so I'm going to put this in low there. Um if I'm mistaken, then, well, shit. But uh, I didn't like it. Buffalo don't know. Bullet from a Valentine. Um, I like their, I like the Poison. That's pretty decent. Or I would say it's listenable. Everything after that is pretty shitty and kind of garbage. So I put them in low tier just for tears. I do fuck with that song pretty heavy. Got it on my playlist. But uh, Bullet, like they've tried to rechase recapture that sound over and over again and it sounds worse every time so just stop just stop making music please burning witch i think an old school hard rock band haven't heard enough burzum um i like i think the second album quite a bit but philosophy is kind of dodgy to me kind of gimmicky so i put them in mid for that vark is a chat though vark is pretty chat but um um yeah pretty inconsistent band i should say don't listen to it all the time and burzum is a pretty bad influence on like later metal bands like fucking summoning which i fucking hate uh candle mass old school do metal band i think they were one of the first i cannot get into candle mass it doesn't click with me <laughs> right next to fucking bullets ah, i should put them next to i don't know fucking well, all these bands are kind of shit. Well, I guess next to accept. Kind of respectable. Can't put them next to Bullet because Bullet is just too embarrassing, I would say. Candlemas is a respectable, you know, band, but I don't. it doesn't click with me. I don't know why. Cannibal Corpse. Um, I do, you know, I do uh, fuck with... What's the fucking song called again? Um... The most popular song, I, I forgot it, but their sound is pretty, you know, middle of the road, I would say, or it's pretty repetitive. They're like the ACDC of death metal. I do like the tone, though. They are pretty rough. They are pretty in your face. So I do like that about Cannibal Course, but uh, listening to them, like, I think I've heard all of their albums, except for like maybe their last two. Um, I do like their sound quite a bit. It is a pretty heavy, intense kind of sound, but. Um, it's all kind of the same, you know. I do like Corpse Grinder more as a singer than um, the guy that is a fucking six feet under now who sounds like garbage now. Chris Barnes. Uh, Chris Barnes, I think he wrote it better songs for the band, but I think I think Corpse Grinder is a better uh, growler. I think his growls are way better than, than uh, Chris Barnes ever were, in my opinion. You know, so uh, fucking Corpse Grinder... Uh, singing or you know growling the early cannibal corpse shit it's pretty dope it's pretty dope shit so i like that this looks like a disfigured logo of the doors i don't know what this is this is a pretty shitty logo whoever designed that uh carcass pretty enjoyable death metal band um kind of grind you know early early in the day uh metal storm actually considers necroticism a a grindcore album, which you know it has parts of grindcore because they came hold of the heels of that genre. I would say you know Carcass is my favorite grindcore band. I hate that genre, you know, because it sounds like shit. But uh, Carcass sounds pretty dope. Um, I like the fucking 
the Swan Song album, which is death and roll. Yes, it's a real genre, uh, which Entomb tried to do. And I think that band has kind of a shitty tone. So Carcass fucking slays them. And uh, there's, there's another band that did, uh, that's covered Entombed or did, well, yeah, they did cover Entombed, not Carcass, but uh, this band, who also destroyed them, in my opinion. Uh, Cathedral, do metal band. Uh, I've heard, I think, one album of theirs, but it was so long ago, can't remember, but it was a decent sound. Uh, Celtic Frost. I like their first EP quite a bit. I like to make a Therion, or, you know, I like the tone, but I don't really listen to it a lot because it is kind of rough to listen to now. Celtic Frost is a pretty lo-fi band, you know. They have done... Um, they've done some pretty iconic stuff, which I like, you know. The Morbid Tills EP is pretty good. To make a Therion, I like. Into the Pandemonium, I think. That album, that avant-garde metal album is kind of a mess. Don't really like it. Kind of reminds me of Arcturus. And I mean, everything after that is kind of shit, you know. They did <laughs> hip hop juice didn't exist, you know. So I could put them in shit there for that, but I put them in mid. I think they have a pretty interesting atmosphere. And uh, you know, Monetius, it did it did uh, make a major comeback for the band, you know. Spawned a whole other band after them, which uh, I forgot the name of, so I don't remember. But uh, uh, Tripticon. Terpticon is pretty decent as well. Uh, they are basically Monetius the band, you know. If Monetius uh, the album had a whole band base of it, it would be Terpticon. So yeah, Kelt um, that album is pretty good. Maybe I put them in low tier if uh, if they didn't release Monetius. So yeah, it indicates it's a pretty good album. Chelsea Grin. I've heard some of their stuff. They're a deathcore band, and I fucking hated them. Uh, garbage shit there. I could put them in Pose Garb. It is literally unlistenable to me. So I can't I can't put, listen to Chelsea Grin. Children of Bodom. Um I do fuck with Children of Bodom quite a bit. I'm kind of considering them higher top tier because they have a lot of shit I, I fuck with a lot. Their first four albums I would say front to back are all really enjoyable. Especially the last one with uh, Needle 24-7. That's one of my all-time favorite songs. I just love how fucking heavy and how fucking re relentless that song is. Uh, well, Are You Dead Yet is also pretty catchy, but it is the sound is kind of shitty, you know? It's really muffled and, like, everything is under the mix, so it sounds like shit, but... Um, but the songs are still pretty good, so I don't know. They have, like, four or five albums that, that I quite fuck with, but after that, it does get a bit uh, derivative for them, so... <sighs> I do really like Children About them, but I put them in high tier. Maybe top tier, I don't know. I, d I do really like them though, but I just don't really mess with their, with their modern stuff a lot. And you know, now the band has ceased to exist because uh, um, Alexi Laiho has passed away. Rest in peace. I do I do really like Children of Bodom, though band. I think this is um, <laughs> a Suomi metal band, which I think him did as well. Him is my favorite Suomi metal band, which is a term on um, on metal storm, which means like emo metal. Um, and him is great. I love him. I would put the band in high tier, but Chimera I've heard a bit of, and they kind of sound like shit, so not interested. Coheed and Cambria. I don't I don't consider Coheed and Cambria uh, a metal band, but they are like. Kind of like a, a pop punk kind of progressive rock band, so I really don't know what they what, what they do here. But they are somewhat hard rock in a way. They're not metal, but I've listened more to Code in Cambria. Um, they have some really fucking awesome songs. Uh, Good Eye Sniper. How's that song called again? Um, it's a really popular song, but I forgot it. But I got I got like a fucking good ice sign on <laughs> fucking AMV on my playlist, which is really catchy because it it sounds like he says that you know, which is from an from an anime from a really bad anime. Uh, AMVs I quite fuck with them. If you couldn't tell from my playlist, um, yeah, I a favor house Atlantic I think something like that a favor house Atlantic maybe that uh, pretty enjoyable song. I like that album. Keeping Secrets of Silent Earth. That album is pretty good. 
<laughs> in the fucking stream it took me like fucking five times to get that right but speaking is not that difficult if you've done it for a while um i love their song grave makers and gunslingers got it with a fucking soul eater and we fucking love that song so they have some really fucking awesome songs and their albums are pretty catchy so i put them in high tier for now I like Code quite a bit, but, you know, if some people, like, I don't really consider them metal, but they are pretty enjoyable. They are on this list, so I'll, I'll still rank them. Vocals are a bit whiny, though. The vocals are a bit just <laughs> fucking, uh, they're really high-pitched. So if you're not into, like, squealing, like, high-pitched singers, I don't recommend Code. But if you like, you know, some good punchy uh, power chord kind of power pop pop punk hard rock kind of riff with some proc rock in it i can definitely recommend koei they're pretty enjoyable for me just get used to the vocals get used to the vocals and if you get used to them it, they are pretty enjoyable but if you can't then listen to something else uh converge converge is fucking awesome they are my favorite mafcore band top tier um i like jane doe quite a bit which is this uh, uh, lady over here. Um, you know, Concubine, it opens fucking re re relentlessly, just really relentless uh, opener, really fucking brutal. Homewrecker, Homewrecker is fucking awesome. Uh, just puts me up every time I hear it, you know. Phoenix of Fly, one of my favorite metalcore instrumentals. Fucking awesome. Just the tone is like sludge, shoegaze, and metalcore. It sounds fucking awesome. And the way it just breaks down. Oh, my God. Converge, they satisfy the fuck out of me. I've described Tender Abuse, which is from All oh, We Love, We Leave Behind, which is a later album of theirs. It sounds like a freight train uh, crashing into a building. It's, it's fucking awesome there, especially the riffs of, like the last 10 seconds oh my god i can listen to that for all my fucking life i fucking love converge stone they're so fucking awesome yeah converge is awesome and now they're doing something with chelsea wall which is really interesting so yeah Con converge fucking rules they're, they rock they rock hard my favorite metalcore band corner um they are a progressive trash metal band um I don't really listen to them a lot, but they are mid-tier. They are an interesting band. They have covered that Beatles song, fucking I Want You See So Heavy, in a progressive trash metal way. So, yeah, interesting band, but I don't really listen to them a lot. Corrosion of Conformity, uh, Stoner Rock Band. Haven't heard enough. Cradle of Filth is interesting. Danny Filth is a interesting singer, I should say. They have kind of grown on me. I do... Um, kind of like their atmosphere and their tone but the vocals are still a bit hard uh, hard for me to grasp on but i'll i'm gonna put them in mid there because i do think they have an interesting vibe going on but um danny filth as a singer is really hit or miss so yeah uh be cautious if you want to get into them i do recommend them they are interesting but you're kind of a mood band Crimson Glory, shitty fucking Queen Truck ripoff. I'll put them in low tier, maybe even shit there. Uh, I fucking hate Crimson Glory. The vocals are fucking awful. The com uh, compositions are really uninspired and really dull sounding. I don't get this band. Just listen to Queen Truck. Crimson Glory is fucking shit. I could put them in shit there, but I don't know. They have interesting concepts, concepts in their album and they have some good riffs up. So, uh, that kind of keeps them away from the shit there. Cryptosy, top tier band. Fucking love Cryptosy. I love their tone. I love their um, their brutalness. They are like the heaviest band that um, I've heard that I like. You know, I've heard some other type of shit which is heavier, but didn't really sound like music. You know, there's like a YouTube video there out there, top ten heaviest songs ever, and it's literally like just one breakdown or people like like just static crashing into their instrument, which I don't consider music. You know, so. That is heavy as hell, but doesn't sound good to me. But, you know, Cryptosy, um, they still sound like music to me, and they are fucking awesome. So, like, they're probably, like, my favorite intense death metal band, I would say, or, like, hardcore, brutal death metal band. Yeah, yeah, they are brutal de death metal. That's their official uh, term. So, um, their first two albums have great tone, great uh, compositions, lofty album covers with, like, the, the eye, you know, 
in that pathway looks fucking awesome really interesting concept art R- reminds me of some old school morbid angel type of shit um and their second album non was fucking awesome i want to get that album on vinyl every fucking song slaps on that album so that's definitely those albums are definitely great everything after that is fucking shit so you know the vocals are really bad on everything after that and it did i think a deathcore album eventually and that well everyone says it's garbage i haven't listened to it so that's the reason they're not got there but and you can't really vibe to crypto see also you know i've said it in my stream you have to have like um like i can put you on at any time conversion crypto see they're situational for me i put them on when i feel like it bars and egglock you can literally throw on at any time and i will have a good time so that's the re- so that is also a thing i take in consideration uh, i've heard a bit of cult of luna it's it sounds pretty generic pretty bad tone uh cynic interesting band i like the tone of the first album i like the atmosphere of the second album uh but they have like a demo um song called pleading for preservation and i think that is their best um moment they have like a whole demo on before that which i think sounds better than focus in my opinion i do fuck with that quite a bit but you know as far as their albums go i'm pretty mixed on them so i'm, I'm putting them in mid they're basically like basically if you like death by human a lot then cynic will satisfy you because they um like chuck was the person that hired them on it all oh yeah dan swano dan swano is from edge of sanity which i like edge of sanity but i've uh, listened to a lot of dan swano stuff uh dan i did put them in mid there in the first video but i don't know um from what I've heard, they don't do a lot for me. I do like I do like Misfits though. I do like some then um Glenn Danzig, you know. Um but like his Danzig band doesn't do a lot for me. I put them in mid tier because I do respect them a lot, but uh it's not really my my band. I could put them in low tier, I don't know. But from what I've heard, it sounds pretty alright to me. Dark Angel is definitely low tier, pretty generic uh trash model band. None of their albums do anything for me. Their first album sounds like shit to me. It doesn't go anywhere. Their later albums are a bit more interesting, but that's like saying the shit is like, it smells less now, you know? Kind of like that. Um, well, I don't think the Dark Angel is shit. I didn't put them in shit there, but I'd still, they just underwhelm me. And Dark Angel is like the most generic band name ever, so. Um, I do know now that Dark Angel came before Morbid Angel, so. <coughs> Uh, so I can't really say Morbid Angels that original, but at least that that sounds some, somewhat original and somewhat uh, kind of like haunting, you know, kind of atmospheric, where Dark Angel just sounds like, wow, okay, edgy teen boy type of shit. Really lame. Dark Fortress, I've heard a bit of them. The, the sound does not click with me, low tier. Is this... No, this, I, I thought it was Dark Tr- Tranquility. Dark Tranquility is a melodic death metal band. They are from that Gothenburg scene. Uh, some In Flames members. Or uh, Dark Tranquility helped out In, Flame, In Flames on some of their early albums, which, you know, um, I do fuck with that quite a bit. Dark Tranquility themselves, though. Um, I do like their album In Fiction, which is pretty good. Is it called In Fiction? I'm thinking, I think... Uh, I think I'm thinking about the Isis song, or maybe just called Fiction. I think it's called In Fiction. I don't know. The one with the with the F on it, I believe, or the the D for Dark Tranquility. I don't know. Um, maybe High Tier. I do like them. I do fuck with Terminus quite a lot. That song and Misery Crown is pretty good. Good, you know, g- Groot. <laughs> Great, good. I am Groot. Fucking retarded. I don't know. Um. I put them in mid tier. I don't always put them on. I honestly listen more to at the gates, really. Um, but I think they're still pretty decent. Maybe high tier one day. Dark space. Don't know. Dark throne. Mid tier. Um, they are a like one of the original kind of lo-fi black metal bands. So I do respect them in that regard because they are one of the forefathers of the genre. You know, they're not. Are they? I don't know. Like, I don't know enough about my black metal history to really, like, make a judgment on that. But um, 
like Dark Throne are one of the fathers, of course. So I have to respect them. And I've listened to like six of their albums, and their atmosphere is pretty interesting, but they're pretty low fi so it's not necessarily my type of sound. I like my bands to be produced, so I'm pretty mixed on black metal as a well. whole. I prefer death metal. Um, this is like a famous logo, but I don't know what it is. It's it's like on the tip of my tongue, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know what this is. I think this is one of Cavalera's bands. The uh, the Cavalera project, but I haven't really heard a lot of that. It sounds pretty all right to me. Uh, Death Heaven is a black gaze band. They are my favorite black gaze band. I put them in, in the high tier. Um, Sunbather is pretty decent, but I think it's pretty overrated. Dreamhouse is pretty awesome, though. That song fucking slaps. I think the album after that with the guy with the flower face is pretty decent. Um, my favorite, though, is after that. How the fuck is it called again with that old lady on it? Uh, fuck, I forgot the title of it, but... Um, I don't really want to look it up because this is just going to take more time. <sighs> fuck. Um... I want to say with Odin on our side, but that's of course not it. That's a fucking Amuna Marvel. I'm not sure why I'm thinking about it right now. Ordinary Corrupt Human Love. That's it. Um, that album is pretty good. I haven't really heard Infinite Granite. People say it's boring. And Anthony gave it like a four, but he also gave like a lot of albums that I hated then, so <laughs> I don't always trust that guy, you know. So, um, Death Angel, <sighs> I haven't really heard a lot of them, but from what I've heard, pretty low tier shit. I don't know. Uh, Death, Death is pretty dope. Uh, I'm gonna be honest here, I don't listen a lot to Death because. Like, their shit is a bit, or, you know, Chuck's, Chuck's shoulder and stuff is a bit wanky, and it is progressive as fuck, you know, especially the later albums. So, that, it's not necessarily my kind of sound anymore, because I kind of hate wank music, you know, for the most part, trash metal and shit. But uh, Death is pretty classic. Their first album with, like, Zombie Ritual, you know, I got it with a fucking Berserk AMV. It's, it's fucking intense. Uh, like, go to one of my playlists, you will find it. It's It's fucking intense. Um, yeah, Death is pretty brutal. They're pretty great. Their tone is pretty awesome. Chuck was a great songwriter, so... You know, I can't... I have to give Death at least a top tier, but I don't think they're one of my favorite bands anymore because I don't really like... Well, I don't really... It's difficult because Conversion and Cryptocy, they have that kind of like that metal core, kind of math core kind of sound, you know? They are more core-based, I would say, for some reason, or... I don't know, they, they, they just have a bigger punch for me, so I just listen more to them. Whereas with Death, Death is more like progressive and more all over the place, so I have to be in the ca right headspace, you know? I do think that um, Leprosy and shit like that, Pull the Pluck is fucking awesome, you know? Um, Symbolic is really consistent, Without Judgment is one of my favorite songs, I would say, so... Um, you can't go wrong with a death album. You can literally like throw a dart at any death song or album and you will hit a bullseye. So they are a top tier band for sure. Fucking great. And I mean, death has still has my favorite band logo ever. Like the fucking, the spider weapon in the D and the scythe as a T, the inverted cross and the skull on the H. It's, it's fucking awesome. I love this band logo. I love to wear the death shirt, but... I don't listen. Um, I don't always listen to them. Call me a fucking poser. I don't give a shit. But uh, they're pretty awesome. Chuck, rest in peace. You were awesome. Uh, Death Row, a good hip hop label. Uh, Deep Purple don't don't really consider them metal, but they are a metal archives. Funny fact. Uh, pretty mid tier. I do love uh, Machine Head, the album. I do like it quite a bit. Um, yeah, I would say that they are decent. Um, I like Highway Star quite a bit. That song is pretty awesome. Got it on my playlist. Uh, they have some other songs. You know, Child on Time is pretty epic. Smoke on the Water is fine, you know. Pretty overplayed song. And it's like a basic guitar song, so... Um, it's, it's easy to start there. So, a good beginner's band. Uh, Def Leppard, I'm not a fan of them. Uh, low tier. 
they are like I don't know, decent sounding glam metal band, but they are way too fucking obnoxious for me to really get into. So it's not it's not my sound. I was never a fan. Deftones. Um, however, I am a huge Deftones fan. Fucking top tier band. Um, I'm gonna put them next to Converse because. Mm, are they better than Cryptosy though? Uh, yeah, I would say so. <laughs> Deftones, um, their vibe, their sound, the way they hit uh, Chino Moreno's vocals, they're pretty, uh, I would say, mellow and emotional and fragile sounding. Um, the way that Deftones just emotes, especially on Around the Fur and especially on White Pony specifically, is just. The atmosphere is amazing. I love Passenger with May uh, Maynard, James Maynard James Keenan. Um, Change in the House of Flies might actually be an, a, a top 10 all-time favorite song for me. That song is fucking amazing. Fucking got her all day. Triple, double, quad, S-tier. You know, fucking amazing. I just love the way that Deftones infuses um, alternative metal with kind of like a core sound. With some shoegaze element and a bit of alternative metal. It just sounds fucking awesome, you know, with, with the post-hardcore, if, if it didn't say it already. All those ingredients in their music just make for a great... It just makes for great fucking music, man. I just love their vibe. Um, you know, Passenger, Change, um, Knife Party. I, I got Knife Party with, with a Fate AMV on my playlist. I, I think I've watched it like 30 times at this rate. Like, I've watched it so many fucking times. I've listened to that song so many fucking times. I love the atmosphere on that fucking song. I love the way that they infuse the guitar chords in, in the melodies. And then just... It sounds like kind of a driving song. But it's also great to vibe to. <sighs> I fucking love my party, man. It's so fucking amazing. <laughs> I'm almost getting emotional because the Deftones stone and their sound is just so amazing. I could almost put them in God here. They're almost a God here band for me, but... They're not got here because I just don't really I just don't really care for their later stuff. But White Pony is fucking amazing. Love the fuck out of White Pony. Knife Party Change. Passenger. Um, you know, around the fur. That's fucking dry far away, which is a masterpiece. Um, and you got the first song. Um oh fuck. Let's call it again. Um I want to get it right because I'm a huge Deftones fan. Oh, fuck. My own summer, my own summer show with this. Oh my God, so good. Now, System of a Down is pretty dope too. How did that lyric go again? Uh, <laughs> why are they always sent to the bar or some shit? <sighs> BYOB, pretty overrated song. Uh, I'll get to uh, System of a Down in a bit. But uh, yeah, Deftones. They're kind of like a demi tier band for me, but um, I don't really, I don't know. Their later stuff is good, but it just not, it just isn't as good as this White Pony, in my opinion. <laughs> Where the fuck are you? <laughs> yes, good shit. Um, okay. Uh, Dia side sounds like generic Morbid Angels to me. Uh, Delane is a, I believe, a symphonic progressive metal band don't quote me on that um they have like a female singer so they have pretty good vocals i would say um i like them quite a bit but i've heard enough so i can't really rate them but from what i've heard they sound pretty decent pretty enjoyable band don't know what that says demons and wizards more like dungeons and dragons Uh, Death Clock, I've heard some of their stuff, pretty decent. I mean, ma people mainly listen to them for the for the music video, so like that's their main gimmick. Um, I've never enough to judge, but uh, people say they're good, so could listen to them more. Uh, Devin Townsend is fucking garbage shit there. 
Um, I th- just think he's really obnoxious. I think he is annoying. He is just really... He gets on my nerve really easily. I think that MPEF sounds like fucking garbage. Uh, yeah, the sound it doesn't do a lot for me. I don't give a shit. I don't know. Um, if you think it's great, then you can defend it. But for me, it doesn't click with me. I don't know. Not for me. Diamond Dead... Um, this is the Ben and Metallica covered, and I've not heard a lot from them, but from what I've heard, they're uh, am I evil type of shit. I don't know, doesn't interest me. Low tier Demon Borgir, I've heard some of their stuff, it sounds pretty bad. I consider it probably garbage. I mean, fucking Demi Lovato's into your band. Uh, yeah, you're definitely a fucking poser garbage band. Dio, Dio's pretty. Pretty epic, pretty pretty uh, awesome singer. He's one of my favorite singers. But his actual compositions, it doesn't really interest me a lot. Um, I like his first uh, first album. I think the Holy Diver is pretty pretty good. Uh, the song in the album. I'm not really into old school heavy metal. Um, Dio is pretty odd though. But like his songs, I don't. I'm indifferent towards them. I like Rainbow in the Dark quite a bit, but. Um, I don't really put on Dio because I'm not never into a, a heavy metal mood, you know. So, uh, but I do like Sabbath, though. I don't know, but they have more doom and more atmospheric elements in their music. Uh, Dissolution is a kind of like a progressive death metal band. Uh, they are from Germany. I've heard some of their stuff, and it's pretty generic. So, uh, the first album I didn't really care for, and the second album was somehow even more generic. So, low tier, I do not give a shit. Uh, Dissection. Dissection is one of the bands that I've changed my opinion on. I gave them low tier because I di- do not give a shit about Storm of the Lion's Bane. I think that album is pretty overrated. I don't get it. I think it is kind of directionless. I don't know. The, the songs don't really go t- anywhere to me. It just doesn't click with me. I don't know. But I've heard some of the Somber Lane album. I do find that album pretty enjoyable. I think it has a bit more vision in wh- what it wants to be despite the production being worse and i think that rain chaos is pretty enjoyable front to back um i think i forgot the fucking title but there is one song of that album that i really like and uh the somber lane the title track is one of my favorite songs now one of my all-time favorite songs i would say in the top 20 or 30 pretty fucking epic so i like the first and third album now i still do not get storm of the lights bane if someone wants to explain it to me if someone wants to say why Storm of the Lies Bane is so good, they can explain it to me. I've heard it. I, it does not click with me. So you can add me on Discord. Maybe I'll make a, make a specific dissection video because I have pretty mixed feelings on them. But um, Rain Chaos, I fuck with it quite a bit. So I put them in high tier. I did put them in low tier because purely based on Storm of the Lies Bane, which I would give low tier that album, but I'm ranking the bands. And I think that the section has a lot of enjoyable moments. They are pretty enjoyable, enjoyable melodic black metal band. They are they are my favorite melodic black metal band. It used to be Winter, but I listen to the section way more. Uh, Disturbed, I've also kind of changed my opinion on. I gave Disturbed a poser garbage tier, which you know I still think they are fucking poser shit. Um, but I do fuck with Stricken, and <laughs> I have like this fucking mashup from uh, Magic Mike and. If you've seen a Magic Mike video, he is fucking... His videos are insane. Um, just watch Down with the Sickness, Magic Mike. It's it's fucking awesome. I love that shit. So, you know, Magic Mike can even make shitty songs good. So, shout out to, to a way bigger YouTuber, but um, I think he's pretty entertaining. He made an, a pretty shit song into a pretty funny one. So... I would say just for Strick and I put them in low tier, but um, the fucking the sickness album is fucking garbage. Uh, Ten Thousand Fists is okay, you know that album is decent. I would say if you have to listen to a disturbed album, I would say that one. Um, but their sound of fucking silence, uh, cover. Oh my god, I could put I could put them in shit there for that. I don't know. I like Strick and though. Um, I have some bias uh, towards that song because I've played it on um, on Guitar Hero Three. I do fuck with Stricken quite a bit. It was always my favorite Disturbed song. I always consider that one good, but Disturbed pretty shitty. Especially after 10,000 Fists. They, they just sound like fucking garbage after that. But before that, they had their moments. You know, uh, in between 
uh, 10.000 vis en... Uh, oh, don't hurt me, mama. Please. Da, da, da. <laughs> How the fuck do you come up with that? And consider yourself like a fucking god. Like David Raymond has like major ego issues. He is really arrogant. So yeah, I don't know what's up with that dude. He's kind of delusional. Um, Doom Versus is a side project of Draconian. Um, I consider Doom Versus high tier. Pretty enjoyable band. Uh, they made three albums. I consider two of those pretty enjoyable kind of death doom metal. Um, doom Verse is probably my favorite death doom band if you, you know, if you consider them that, which I quite like. So um, yeah, I haven't really heard much of the third one, um, which uh, I don't know sounds more like the same. So I don't know, but the first two I quite like. Uh, dope. I have a feeling I've heard this band before, but. I don't know. Uh, down. I've heard a bit of down. Um, I actually consider "Bury Me in Smoke" that live performance when uh, when Phil and Salmo did. What did he say again? Uh, <laughs> I'm sick at, uh, of people staring at us. <laughs> don't you look at me unless you're on the fight, motherfucker, and you'll lose. <laughs> Phil and Salmo is out of his fucking mind. That guy's insane. But. Um, and that live performance specifically is one of my favorite songs. Love the fuck out of that live performance. Actually, in the studio, it sounds kind of mad to me. Uh, my favorite studio song for them is uh, Stone the Crow, which I think is pretty enjoyable. They are a southern metal band. Um, Bury Me in Smoke is one of my ultimate favorite songs. So there's that. The fucking the sludge riffs, especially towards the end when it slows down. Dun, 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 dun. And it just gets slower and slower, and you just feel like you're like fucking drowning in the sludge. Awesome feeling. Uh, there was like one guy that I followed that considers Down the best sludge band, which I heavily disagree with, but I still consider Down good. I put them in mid tier. Um, I might even prefer it over Pantera, you know, as, as far as Phil Selmo project projects go, because I'm just more into sludge than groove metal. Draconian. Draconian is top tier. Um, not, I would say almost got there because Draconian, their sound is really interesting. They have like a gothic doom type uh, type of sound, and I'm really into like goth aesthetic. I love gothic culture, you know. Um, I love that 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 sound, that style, that aesthetic. The music is really really interesting, really cool. Um, when not when they cry the the anime uh, the fucking. The, the the cry song you know the, the, the their first song their first ever song their first studio song <sighs> i have to look it up because i like i really don't want to look it up because it's just gonna it's just gonna be more time but i have to look it up because draconia is just the shit they are an awesome band so for some bands i'll, I'll make an exception the cry of silence is might actually be like a top 10 song for me. That song is fucking amazing. The tone shifts it has, the, the tone in general, the atmosphere, the, the fucking vibes on the song. The album cover is really fucking cool. Um, I have it on vinyl as well. I fucking love Draconian. The only reason they're not got here is because they're a mood band. You know, Boris and Agalog I can put on at any time. And Draconian, I have to be a bit in the mood for them, but... The tone, the the vibe, the aesthetic, the the golf sound, you know, the gothic doom metal sound. I fucking love Draconian. They're fucking awesome. And I also have like kind of a personal. I don't know. I I feel more personal towards them because most of the bands that I really love, like Converge, I have from Anthony Fantano, Deftones. I have from who who would I consider <laughs> maybe Rocks, but I fucking hate that guy now because he blocked me. Um, who else is really into Deftones? I don't fucking know. I guess rocked, but fuck him anyway. Um, Cryptosy, I don't know. Maybe Cryptosy is also independent. Well, maybe down from that work. Uh, CKN, Dev, you know, Draconian. Draconian is really my uh, my only band that I got into myself. So I feel special towards them. Uh, Dragon Force, I consider fucking poser garbage. Um, they're not a good band. They're sloppy. They're kind of rude assholes on tour, it seems. I've heard like one story one time. But um, but yeah, in general, I'm not a fan of them. I think they are really overhyped kind of trash. 
Um, and like, most people that are into them are not into metal. So I consider that poser garbage. So I don't know. Um, their last song on fucking Guitar Hero 3, though. <laughs> that is how most people get into them, because of Guitar Hero 3. You know, True Fire and the Flames is pretty awesome, but, uh... Like, that, like that's the only reason I'm not putting them in shit there, but they are a really overhyped band. Dream Theater, uh, pretty top tier. Um, obviously not a vibe band. They're way too wanky to put them in God tier, but, uh... I really love Octavarium, you know, the album. I think that, uh, Panic Attack is... One of my favorite songs, Octavarium, is one of the greatest fucking songs ever made. That song is so fucking epic. It blows my balls off every time. Uh, just that whole album, the, the vibes, it, it even has like like Walk Beside You, which is really cheesy. But it's like symphonic, it's catchy, it's a beat, it's fun. It sounds good as shit, so I don't know. Like there are epic songs, there are heavy songs, like Panic Attack, there are like, epic Octavarium, you know emotional kind of more feel good type of shit you know um walk beside you you know uh root of the root of all evil sounds fucking interesting cool dope shit so yeah it, like there there is like a good song on it so like for every mood you're in there's like a good song on it so yeah dope as shit um i like images word a lot really emotional album really good tone really interesting songwriting on it uh, James Labrie is a fucking awesome singer. He's one of my favorite metal singers ever. One of my favorite singers in general, I would say. He's really fucking good. Mark Porno, one of my favorite drummers. He is he fucking kills it. John Petrucci, of course. He is um, the guitar god that everyone says he is. He really is. Um, I'm, obviously, I'm not really into like wanky type of shit like Dream Theater, but Dream Theater is definitely a exceptional band. I can't deny that. A lot of people hate them, but I still fuck with them quite a bit. Not as much now, though. Like, everything after, I would say, Black Clouds. Like, everything after that album and everything after 2009, just progressive metal just doesn't interest me anymore. After Black Clouds and, like, Crack the Sky and Mastodon, it doesn't do anything for me anymore ever since that moment. Damn, that's, uh, that was a whole sentence. Uh, DRI, uh, probably my favorite hardcore band. I put them in mid there. They're pretty middle of the road i would say but if you have to listen to a hardcore band you know you can listen to suicidal tendencies but uh, i always thought they, they were a bit gimmicky dri is more like raw in your face which i prefer uh drug guy interesting atmosphere but their songs they just kind of go on forever so mid tier i could put them in high tier because they do have an interesting atmosphere but i'm not much in the mood for them i have other bands that i vibe to better uh, Earth, I think Earth is like the one of the OG drum metal bands, so definitely mid there just for the respect. And because they have an interesting concept, but their actual music just doesn't really do a lot for me. Uh, I have to listen to them more to really like put them higher, but from what I've heard, pretty mid to me, but they can be higher. Edge of Sanity, a uh, death metal band, which I enjoy. Um, this is actually the highest rated melodic death metal band, which I do disagree with because they're not as sketchy as Children of Bodom, I would say. Um, but Edge of Sanity, I do think they're decent, um, maybe high tier, but I don't really put them on a lot. I do like Crimson 2 quite a bit, Crimson 1 is all right, so I put them in mid tier, can be high tier, but like most of like Crimson is literally just one song that goes on forever. Uh, it had different parts, but I'm not really into those type of albums that just go on forever. Like that. Um, it's just personal preference. Ed Guy, don't know. Uh, Electric Wizard, top tier. Uh, pretty great doom metal, stoner metal band. Uh, my favorite band in both of the genres. I would say better than Black Sabbath. Um, yeah, the, the vibes. Um, you can just like zone out to Electric Wizard, so they can be God tier, but you know, obviously, I don't really consider Electric Wizard God tier because, like, Dope Throne is fucking dope. That's a great album, but like, besides that, their discography is a bit hit or miss, but that album is pretty fucking awesome. So, um, I could put it on anytime. It's, it's great to vibe to, it's great to like jam out to, it's great to fucking headbang to. Uh, the vocals are pretty fucking good. All the, the riffs are fucking nasty. Love the riffs. Uh, Funeral Rob Funeral Opolis is like <laughs> the fucking name of the playlist of like songs I want to play at my funeral. So that should mean something, I guess. Uh, awesome title. Uh, you know, Barbarian is probably my personal favorite because that song goes a bit harder and gets a bit quicker to the point, in my opinion. 
Um, Idle Witch Finder, I zone, f- uh, I zone out fucking hard to that song. So yeah, Electric Wizard, fucking awesome band. Love the fuck out of them. Uh, dope band. Elovit, I'm gonna put Elovit in high tier. I want to listen more to them because their concept is really interesting. They're like a, a fucking folk. It's kind of symphonic, not really. Kind of like a folky death metal band. Uh, they're, they're Celtic metal. I think Celtic metal is pretty interesting, but Elevate is like really the only band in that genre that is like big. And they do it pretty well. Uh, Ines Mona is one of my all-time favorite songs. I listen to that fucking song all the time. I have to... Like with Mellor, the band, like Elevate and Children of Bono, I kind of have to take a break sometimes because I listen to them so much. It's such an addictive sound. Uh, a Rose Free Poem is beautiful. Like their later song with the more female uh, vocals, I really like as well, of course, because I fucking simp for that type of shit. Um, yeah, but I think Ines Mona and that album, uh, Slania album, is really, like, really fucking catchy and good. So I uh, fuck with Elevate quite a bit. Um, their later albums are a bit more inconsistent. That's why they're not top tier, but um, pretty great fucking sound. And they're unique as well. So I uh, consider that. Emperor, I consider high tier. I like their first two albums. Um, you know, Storm, not Storm of the Lies, man. In the Nice of the Clips, I think it's pretty epic. Uh, it is kind of loud, though. Like the production is kind of like overbloated. So I'm not always into the type of sound, but live, it's Emperor's fucking awesome. Like, um, I haven't listened to the song in a while, but I was called again. Uh, into, into the Pantheon, I think. That song is pretty awesome. Uh, I'm the Black Wizard, of course, is uh, is epic. So, um, yeah, Emperor, of course, they are great bands. I do f- fuck with Emperor quite a bit. Uh, they're not top tier because I have a bit more difficulty listening to their second album because it is really weird and out there, but it is interesting. So I want to get more into that album. But in the night set is like I would say the only album from them that is really like front to back good as shit. So I don't know, could be better. Um, and I mean, their third album was kind of derivative, sounded like they were running out of ideas, and their fourth album is fucking awful, that album makes my ears bleed, so, yeah, Emperor, they did kind of go off the rails uh, eventually, but uh, the first two albums and, like, some of the early EPs are pretty good, so definitely high tier for that, could be top tier if their later shit wasn't so bad, um, and Sifram. I've changed opinions on Ansiferum as well. I used to think they were really good. Um, what the fuck is wrong with me? Um, you're probably wondering, wait, what? Do you hate them now? Uh, no, I've listened, I think, to their first album quite a bit. And I've listened maybe more to their second album with Lie, Lie, Lie. And um, especially Into Battle. I got Into Battle on my playlist with like a fucking... Ava AMV, and I apologize for anyone that like got like like your knee jerk reaction to that was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? High tier, just high tier. I'm like, I'm looking back at that feed. I'm like, wait, what? Only high tier. And I will, I will say now, I will say right now, and Sifram is fucking awesome. Fucking love and Sifram into battle with that Ava AMV with Asuka like beating the shit out of those fucking uh, out of those angels. It's fucking amazing, especially like in the bridge when she uh, fucking, I don't know, when she like shoots them and it uh, fuses with the guitar solo in the bridge on into a fucking, oh man, that's so fucking awesome. Into Battle is like one of my top 10 favorites, one of the greatest fucking songs I've ever heard. So, and Sifram is definitely top tier. What the fuck was wrong with me? I put them in high tier. They're definitely top tier, top tier for sure. They wouldn't be god tier if... I enjoyed their later albums as much as I did the first two. The first two albums are really fucking good. The first one, front to back, is just amazing. And the second album is a bit more inconsistent, but it has some of the best fucking folk metal songs ever. Um, yeah, and Sifram is fucking awesome. Love in Sifram. Definitely wanna, m- want to see them someday if fucking COVID blows over. Uh, and Sifram is the shit. Fucking love them. And uh, yeah, and Sifram then I don't think I said enslaved. Yeah, and Sifram is awesome. Enslaved. I'm a. Uh, I still. I'm still not really into them. They are like progressive black metal. I don't get it personally. Their shit just kind of draws on, and I don't know. I've heard some of their 
uh, I forgot the title of it. It sounds kind of like a wine. I don't know. And that album was kind of interesting. Mardrome or something. I forgot it. But um, that album had interesting atmosphere on it. But some of their later stuff is really fucking generic. It just sounds like progressive metal done by a black metal band. It doesn't really click with me. Um, and Tomb does click with me. And Tomb is pretty brutal. I'm still going to put them in mid there because I still do think that the later stuff is kind of a shitty tone and their their tone is really in your face so if you don't like that then definitely avoid them but um one of my favorite songs by them is left hand path and especially that outro that outro man is fucking awesome just sounds like you're 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 getting like 20 feet lower than your fucking grave it sounds really fucking heavy really dope love that outro so i could put them in high tier for that but like, I don't really <laughs> like the Entombed Stone, to be honest. It just sounds a bit too muddy and shitty to me. I don't know. But uh, that outro on Left and Path, don't sleep on that shit. It's, it's, it rules. It slaps pretty hard. Otherwise, I could put them in low tier. But that, the Left and Path is one of my favorite songs. There are some really good songs on the, on the album as well. And the album cover, it has one of my favorite album covers. I think I still have it on, like, my favorite, my favorite covers, right? I mean, if I don't have it, I'm just going to add it after this. Oh, wait, I still have my sidebar up here. What the fuck? Why do I still have my sidebar up? I did I did say to hide it, but it's not hiding. What the fuck? Hide it. Um. Okay, it's not hiding, but hopefully for the stream it is. It's not hiding. That fucking sucks. Um, okay, I don't know why why my fucking why my taskbar doesn't want to. It doesn't want to fuck off for some reason. Well, I'm not sure what's up with that, but um, it doesn't want to work. Whatever. Epica, they are a Dutch um, symphonic metal band, which just sounds like a Walmart Nightwish to me, so I don't get it. And there are some people like at my group that actually own Epica and within, within Temptation CDs. So that's interesting, didn't know that, but it doesn't click with me, I don't know. Esoteric is a Death Doom band, which I am interested in listening to more, but their shit does get a bit monotonous after a while. This, they are like OG Death Doom though, like Doom versus more of like what is Doom versus? Like more Doom metal driven, I would say. Yeah, kind of like Death Metal and Doom Metal. So I guess Death Doom, but um, but Esoteric is like way more traditional and way more into the into the type of sound. But I don't know. I've have, I haven't really gotten into it myself, but I am interested in checking out more of their stuff because they are really brooding, really dark, but. I guess that Death Doom just isn't really for me because it doesn't really click with me. Maybe there's a better band out there though. Recommend it to me if you know it. Exodus, uh, Bonded by Blood is a pretty awesome album. I think that the song Strike of the Beast is pretty fucking epic. But Trash Metal, it ain't my thing. Uh, I'm not really into that, but uh, Strike, of, Strike of the Beast, pretty awesome fucking song. So I'm definitely going to give it mid tier for that. But uh, I know that there are like some hardcore Exodus fans out there. Oh, the sidebar is gone. Yes. I'm not sure why it worked at that time. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure how long it was in screen. Uh, but yeah, Exodus, I don't know, could be better. Uh, or, you know, could click with me better, I would say. You know, if it's better, that's, of course, uh, personal taste. For Fade No More. Uh, the band with Mike Patton in it. I am personally more of a Mr. Bungle kind of guy because they're more interesting. But uh, Fade No More is pretty decent. I give them mid tier. Maybe high tier, but I only really like Angel Dust. And I don't even really like it all the way through. There are a couple of songs that I really like from it. You know, Epic, of course, is a pretty good song. But um, I don't know. I think that most of the stuff that Fade No More does, I, I just think that Mr. Bungle does it better and more interestingly. So... That's the reason I return to that band a lot and not a lot to Fade More. So that's my opinion. 
but still decent though. Still rec- recommend checking out Fedemore if you're into more alternative metal. And I mean, they're definitely better than the fucking Red Hot Chili Peppers. Suck a dick, Anthony. F- uh, Anthony Kiedis. Uh Fate's Warning is like demo dream theater. I was never into them. Heard like three of their albums. Doesn't interest me. Never interesting album covers though. I think one of their album covers is like one of my favorites. Um, I guess it's not because I have to think about Fate Warning then and I don't care about them. Uh, I could add it though. Uh, like Dream Theater was heavily inspired by it so, so I do respect them for that but in general not a huge fan of them. Um, Fear Factory is also a band I've kind of changed my opinion on. I think that Fear Factory is pretty interesting. Um, they are my favorite industrial metal band. I think I even said it in the stream back, back in the last year. I said even then, Fear Factory was my favorite industrial metal band. They might even be my favorite industrial band. I don't know. Eh, not sure. But uh, Fear Factory, I think they are pretty good. I, I said that they were pretty repetitive, but they are the best industrial metal band, I would say. I'm going to stop saying that now because you get the point. Um, most people say that like the manufacturer is like great. I do like that album quite a bit, but I personally prefer Obsolete. It has more enjoyable songs. It has a better groove, I think. Uh, Resurrection is one of my all-time favorite songs. Um, I have that on my playlist with an with an with another Ava AMV because I fucking love the show. And uh, I love the song. Resurrection is fucking amazing. It's like a masterpiece. So just for that, just for obsolete alone, I would say just for Resurrection alone, I give them high tier. Pretty good bands. Definitely check them out if you're into industrial metal. I would say they're like. Uh, tw- uh, 30 times better than fucking Rammstein, which I still think is okay, but I don't know. Fear Factory, they just hit harder. They're just more enjoyable. Uh, Firewind, I saw them live with Queen's Reich. It, um, it sounded like, kind of like shit, but uh, they're not as bad as the shit they're about, so I'm going to keep them in low tier. I don't know. Their tone is pretty bad, and they kind of made my ears bleed live, so I was not into them. I had to see them because they were before they were headlining before Queen Ra- Queen's Rock, so I was forced. Um, yeah, go cry me a river, bitch. This band is pathetic. Um, yeah, they sound like shit. I don't know, garbage band. I just don't want to talk about them. Uh, Flash got apocalypse. Like a girl that I talked to, listen to this band. They are like a symphonic death metal band, and another band like called Flash Septic or something is did, did this sound, but. I just don't really like symphonic and death metal together. Like symphonic is supposed to sound pretty and elegant and death metal is like rootless and br- brutal, you know? Combining that together just sounds weird. It's it's basically like uh, combining beef, beef stew and lollipops together. It just doesn't... It just doesn't connect with me. If, that make, if this comparison makes sense, it makes sense to me. Um, this is this Flossum and Jetsum. Yeah, Flossum and Jetsum is the original band of Jason Newstead, who, who of course was the basis for Metallica on Injustice for All. Great album with no bass. Uh, great job, Lars Balsack. Um, I put them in low tier. I don't know. I don't listen to them a lot. Their tone is pretty shitty. Um, they're pretty all over the place. They're pretty messy. I don't know. I was never into them. I think I've heard like two albums. Not interested. Ganarius, pretty good band. I don't always listen to them, but they are probably my favorite power metal band, so I put them in high tier. I used to put them in top tier, but I don't always listen to Ganarius, but they are pretty epic. Ah, they, they do have really epic songs, though. Maybe top tier. Yeah, they are my favorite power metal band, though, so I put them in top tier. Pretty, pretty dope band. I don't always listen to them, though. I do need to listen to them more, but they are pretty awesome. Gamma Ray heard some songs, wasn't interested, but I'm willing to tar- try them again. But from what I've heard, wasn't really into it. Uh, Ghost, I think Ghost is pretty good. Uh, probably their reason, though, like their most... I forgot the title of it, but the one with uh, Rats and... Um, I do want to look it up. <laughs> Sometimes I really can't help myself. Sometimes I really want to get a uh, prequel. I always want to look it up. That's when I get the title. Prequel and... Uh, oh, they have... New album is coming out. L- looks like kind of a mess, but it is psychedelic rock. It comes out um, next month, so 
I'm interested. Uh, the songs I've heard so far sound really poppy, so maybe they turn into a pop band, like um, fucking Bring Me the Horizon. I don't know. Prequel, I quite like. Uh, Ghost Macabre, I think that's my favorite song from them at the moment. Uh, y- you got, of course, Meliora, I would say, is their front-to-back classic album, From the Pinnacle to the Pit. That's a great production on it. Cerise, I really like. He is, is amazing. Uh, what else is good? Majesty is pretty decent. Uh, Spirit, I quite like as an opener. Um, yeah, you know, Majesty I, is pretty good. So, even then, said already. So, yeah, pretty good bands. I like them quite a bit. Pretty good, like just traditional heavy metal, psychedelic rock. It kind of brings back that sound into a modern jacket. So, uh, yeah, Ghost is pretty enjoyable. I like them quite a bit. Maybe top tier if I like the new album, but from what I've heard, it sounds more poppy, so <laughs> it wouldn't really be like uh, accurate to put them in top tier as, as a metal band because they're turning pop. But I still like pop metal, you know? I like uh, Reds quite a bit, so I don't really give a shit about the whole Ghost ain't metal uh, debate. If it sounds good, good to me, I'm going to rank you high. I don't give a shit about your label. Goat or uh, God's your band name, but I haven't really heard them. God Flash, I've heard their first album, and... I've heard some of their later stuff and it doesn't, it sounds like they have an idea, but they just kind of mess around with it and they just create um, like really kind of noisy and kind of raw kind of approaches to their music. Like it's just, it sounds like they present you ideas, but they're never fully fleshed out, if that makes sense. I've only heard the first album front to back, and I did give it a good rating, but I never listened to it. <sighs> Maybe I put them in low tier because everything I've heard from them ever since that time, I just I always skip it on, on you know if I listen to it on Spotify, I always skip it if it goes onto my industrial uh, shovel. So, I don't know. Um, I'm going to withhold r- the rank for now because I haven't really heard their later stuff. But the first album, I think, is decent. But I don't listen to it quite uh, a lot. I don't know. Maybe mid or low. Uh, Gojera, pretty mid there. I don't really mind Gojera. They're p- pretty middle of the road. I think they're pretty overrated as a band. But they have some uh, pretty heavy riffs that hit you pretty hard. I might want to listen to them more. But I was kind of bored with them. For most of their career. Um, Gorguts is fucking awful. Garbage bands. And there was like one person that ever since this thing, the this stream thing came out, said to me like, um, oh, they are a super deep band that you don't get. This. And I'm like, but you know, uh, I like avant-garde music. That's not the problem. I like, you know, Modern of the Well, like some Psy, you know, like some atmospheric type of shit with some psychedelic fusions, you know. Um, I like Cryptosy quite a bit, you know, as far as technical death metal goes. I like, um, what else is tech death? You know, death, death is pretty good. But, you know, avant-garde and technical death metal, it just didn't click well. It sounds like shit in that way, in that combination. And Gorguts discovered that, and yeah... I was like, yeah, this is fucking awful. What are you doing? And people actually liked it. And I'm like, wait, are you guys deaf? This sounds like fucking garbage. Um, at least the Obscura album. I've heard some of the earlier stuff, which is basically just like more meat and potatoes or, or just sounds like meat and potatoes death metal. So it doesn't really interest me. Um, and their later stuff I've heard is more of the same, but Obscura was such a huge piece of shit that I couldn't continue after that. So... My ear drums are still shattered for that album. So Gorguts is like... On this list, Gorguts is probably the worst band that I've heard in metal. So yeah, Gorguts is fucking awful. I hate them. And if you want to defend them, you can argue with me on um, on, di- on Discord. Omenus Dawn 6957. If you want to defend Gorguts, you know. If I put a band of shit there and you really like it, you can all always argue with me you can always defend your band and say oh this is the reason they're great i'm sure that there are like fucking devon townsend fans out there fanboys that want to fucking rip me a new one come at me bitch come at me and they're fucking shit uh green carnation really weird awkward bands um they did a light of day day of darkness album which is like 
same thing as Edge of Sanity, but just weaker and weirder. And, you know, you, they don't have Michael Eckerfeld, which I forgot to mention on Edge of Sanity, which, you know, that is pretty awesome. But um, Gr Green Carnation, they are a weird progressive, gothic progressive metal band. And, you know, they, you know, unlike Draconian, they don't have female vocals. So I can really enjoy that, like that goth, uh, feminine kind of kind of tone that Draconian has and rules so well with. Um, yeah, you know, fucking Green Carnation doesn't have that. They just have really weird tones. Uh, their tone is fine, I would say, for the most part, but their early stuff just is really derivative progressive metal, their first album at least. Their second album is weird as shit. Uh, they have like they have a section with female vocals, but it sounds fucking weird and bad. I would say it just sounds really uncomfortable to me. I get kind of nauseous listening to that. Um, and the whole album is kind of a fucking slog. There are some good riffs in it, but why is it like one hour long song? Like no one does anyone really listen to Light of, Light of Day, Day of Darkness like all the way through without cringing ever? Even in that fucking female choir part. I don't know. It, it sounds weird. It sounds weird and uncomfortable to me. Um, after that, they did a bunch of albums that was where they were basically just a fucking tool clone. So that was boring. And then they did an acoustic album, which I did like. That's the only reason they're not shit there. I do like that album. But after that, they had like a hiatus for like 16 years. And then after that, they made an album which literally looks like a fucking fetus version of Ladder Ladders by Tool. So they are Tool clone again. It's not, it's not even fucking subtle, guys. Come on. Fucking hell. Jesus. So, yeah, that bends. They do kind of suck for the most part. But um, that that acoustic album, I still kind of like that. So I guess loads here, whatever. Uh, Gwar's the band I want to listen to more. They are really gimmicky, but they are pretty insane. I've heard on stage. Haken, progressive metal band, really generic, don't give a shit about them. Uh, Hammerfall is a power metal band, which is like one of the more OG ones, more traditional. They do sound good. I haven't really heard a lot to, to uh, judge them. Hatebreed sounded pretty bad, but I've not heard that much, but I would probably put them in lower shit. Heathen, old school, generic prog metal band, don't give a shit. Um, just more of the same shit. Hellhammer, um, fucking Tom G. Wars original band. Sounds pretty raw, sounds pretty interesting, but I don't know. I haven't heard enough. It's just like one EP, I believe, one demo, but I've not even heard the whole thing because it does sound kind of shitty. Halloween. Um, I do want to give Halloween more shots, but they are pretty mad to me. I don't really care about them, but they are like a pretty respectable power metal band, so probably put them in mid tier. I do probably listen more to Blind Guardian because I like their tone better, but Halloween, I don't know. I do respect Halloween quite a bit, but I never listen to them because their tone just doesn't interest me. They are just too in your face and too a beat for me, I guess. But, you know, that's more, that's more so a power metal problem, but Halloween is like the face of power metal or Blind Guardian. I, well, I would say Halloween is like, the they are the fathers of power metal or like, the original bands, you know, the fathers are Rainbow, I would say. But Blind Guard is more of the face of today, I would say. So, High on Fire. Um, you know, if you are familiar with the podcast, uh, there's like a podcast out there. It's called Your Favorite Band Sucks. And they, you know, they talk shit about, they've talked shit about Mastodon once. Um, which, you know, is fair because... <laughs> Them singing live is kind of shitty, I think. Or, well, kind of objectively almost. Um, yeah, so they showed like one live performance and it was pretty bad. Even the one I have on my playlist, like fucking uh, Brent Hines. So it's like a fucking infected dinosaur, which I think he had a throat infection. So that's why he sounds like that. So it's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, you know, High on... Uh, but the reason I'm mentioning that is because they recommended High on Fire um, to Mastodon fans. And I listened to High on Fire, you know, also before that because someone requested it in my server. I listened to it and I thought that the tone was pretty shit. Uh, I don't really return to them. Their tone is pretty shitty. They, they do have Scott Kelly, though, who sings on Blood and Thunder by Mastodon, which I think is a pretty awesome song. But I think we can all agree on that. 
Um, so yeah, Scott Kelly is a pretty dope singer. He sounds pretty well informed, or he sounds pretty well implemented in sludge and doom metal, or well, more so sludge, sludge stoner metal. But um, the tone of High on Fire fucking sucks. I hate their tone. I hate how how their song sounds. It sounds really sloppy and shitty. So I'll put them in low here. I do like Scott Kelly as a rough kind of growler kind of singer. So I do like that. But I don't like their music. Call me a poser. I don't give a shit. I don't really like High on Fire. They just sound like a like demo fucking neurosis to me. And I'm not, not even that much into neurosis, but I'll get to them. Holy Moses, good uh, good Bring Me the Horizon song. I think it was called like that, yeah, pretty sure. Horrendous, the the Anthony Fontana death metal band. Um, heard a bit of their stuff. It didn't do anything for me, so loader. He gave it like a nine. I don't give a shit. Um, I don't give a shit about them. Is this hypocrisy? I think that says hypocrisy, right? Or did I skip them already? Yeah, okay. So I think this is a hypocrisy. Um, I've heard a bit of more of their stuff, and it is a bit too intense for me. Their stuff is a bit too dark. It kind of like, there's no like light tunnel at the end of their roads. I mean, it's death metal, so of course it isn't. It's kind of a weird thing to bring up, but I don't know. I do like their tone quite a bit, but I haven't really fully gotten into them, so. Um, their tone is pretty high tier, but I haven't really like gotten into a whole arm because they're pretty intense, so I don't know. But their tone is pretty good. I do recommend them if you're like into brutal death metal. It's weird that I like Cryptosy so much, but may maybe they deserve high tier. I have to listen to them more. I have, I have to withhold the judgment, but I I am on good terms with that band. They are pretty good. For what I've heard. Uh, I Surf is a power metal band, which I have liked. But I haven't really returned to them a lot, so I put them in mid tier. I probably would listen more to Ice Earth than Halloween. Halloween, I just don't really. It doesn't really click for me. Ice Earth, they do have some enjoyable moments. I would have to listen more to them to put them higher. Immortal, generic black metal band that never did anything for me. Low tier. Um, this is a really weird logo. What the fuck is that? In Flames, I still. I still listen to In Flames all the fucking time. <laughs> I still cannot get enough of them. Um, yeah, I don't know. Fucking the first album. I have to look them up again because I forgot how their first album is called. I cannot get enough of In Flames. It's, it's like an addiction. It really is. Fucking Lunar Strain. Pretty good album, pretty good opener, pretty good debut album. The Jester Race, Masterpiece, Oracle, Masterpiece, Colony, fucking great. Clayman, really fucking catchy, really enjoyable. Re Reroute to Remain, really enjoyable. Soundtrack to Your Escape, I think is a bit overrated, but still some good moments. Com Clarity is pretty good. Sense of Purpose I quite like, it's pretty underrated. Sounds of Playground, Playground Fading is pretty underrated. Um, I don't really like their last three albums, though, so... Um, yeah, don't really like that, but like their... Four, six, eight, like the first ten albums, I all consider like really enjoyable front to back albums that I all would recommend you listen to. Um, yeah, and they are on Guitar Hero Three with uh, "Take Your Life," uh, which I don't actually really like as much as uh, of a song. So, was it not on this album? Huh, I thought it was on this album, but I guess not. Maybe on Reroute. I'm like wasting time again, but I'm such a fucking In Flames fanboy, so... <laughs> um, it definitely came before 2007, because it was on uh, Guitar Hero 3. Maybe maybe it is on this album. Huh. Maybe it was like a bonus, so... Did I miss it, really? Huh. Con Clarity? Doesn't really sound like a Com Clarity song to me, but uh, Take This Life, yeah, I guess it is. Um, I think that fucking uh, Crawling Through Knives is like fucking God's here song, but Take This Life. I mean, I still have good, I still have Inflames on Guitar Hero 3, though, so that is fucking great, but it's it's not my favorite Inflames song, but 
Crawl Through Knives and fucking Jester's Crypt, Transfigured, is fucking amazing. Dialogue with the Stars, amazing instrumental. Um, the Jester Race, the title track is really fucking good. So they have so many fucking songs. Uh, the, uh, uh, only for the Week, Got It With A Fucking Helsing Ultimate AMV. Fucking, oh my God, it's, it's so addictive. In Flames is actual drugs to me. I can't stop listening to them. Like you can vibe to them, you can headbang to them, you can fucking lounge to them you can enjoy their instrumentals you can enjoy their good roles a bit they are a bit edgy but uh their breakdowns are fucking awesome um, i cannot get enough of them they're like my most listened to band ever now so yeah cannot get enough of them lamps i fucking love them um this band is weird uh, the the fucking lead singer is like fucking an emo haircut i don't get that didn't really get their music either in the Woods, same shit as Green Carnation, but like more black metal. They have like one arm with a yellow cover, which I listen to, which is fucking weird. After that arm, I just stopped listening to them because I was so weirded out by them. So I don't get Green Carnation. I don't get it. Insomnium, I think they are one of the more popular um, melodic death metal bands. I don't get it. They don't click with me. Um, which is a shame because I do want to like every melodic death metal band, but some of them just don't really resonate with me. But I love melodic death metal as a as a genre, you know. So I always want to like more bands. I always want to like more bands, you know. But you know, with some bands, some bands it's like almost impossible. So I'm not gonna not even gonna go there. But with Insomnium, I am willing to give them another shot because they are in a genre that I really like. But um, from what I've heard, they don't do anything for me. Okay, I'm still, still conflicted on Iron Maiden because they are like, I am really into this AMV called Girls in Panzer, and then there's usually I fucking listen to metal with like AMVs. If if you hate me, talk about that. I apologize, but that is usually how I like find bands like this. You know, I you know, granted I have heard Maiden before, but I just enjoy it more than an AMV for some reason. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I've watched Girls in Panzer quite a bit now with The Trooper, which is a fucking awesome mashup. So I love the fuck out of The Trooper. Uh, Number of the Beast, you know, I've played that quite a bit on um, on Guitar Hero 3. Um, you know, Rhyme of the Asian Mariner and especially Hollow Be The Name, that's what I meant. Hollow Be The Name is fucking epic. Rhyme of the Asian Mariner is epic too, but it just goes on for a bit longer. Just goes on for a bit too long, in my opinion. They are pretty good though. I do quite like them. Um, Maiden has grown on me. I did say that they were like overrated and like, I mean, they are like first on the page here, which I, you know, don't necessarily disagree with. They're just the most popular band. But I wish Opet was first. I still think that, but Maiden is more iconic. So of course they're going to be first, more popular. I'm still conflicted if I want to give them the high tier because I do like, you know, most people are like, our Maiden is fucking God What are you talking about? I don't know, you know, for me, for me, they're not really my type of band. I don't really listen to that whole traditional new wave of heavy metal type of sound, just traditional heavy metal. I don't really listen to that to it a lot. But Maiden is pretty classic though, so maybe they do deserve the high tier. There's not really, like honestly, I don't really enjoy an album from there front to back. Like Somewhere in Time is probably the closest I like from them. Or maybe Killers, that's pretty awesome. You know what? fuck ominous fuck me iron maiden is definitely a high tier band what the fuck is wrong with me iron maiden is definitely god tier but i don't know i don't really listen to them a lot but iron maiden definitely deserves a high tier like what the fuck am i smoking i don't know it's just it's just my taste it's just my taste it's just my opinion maiden deserves way better than just a high tier and like in my last video it was bless me because i gave them mid tier but Maiden definitely deserves high tier at least, you know. I'm not even into them that much, but the Trooper, fucking amazing song, you know. Number of the Beasts, Holly Be the Name, uh, Run to the Hills is fucking epic. So, Maiden, they have, they are really catchy. They have a good tone. Steve Harris is a dope fucking bassist. So, just fuck me, you know. You can literally just type in the comments, fuck me for having this Iron Maiden opinion because that just is just my taste, I guess. I don't know. It's really fucking weird like that. But uh, yeah, they're not really my type of band. But Iron Maiden, of course, classic band. They deserve at least a high tier. The Trooper, amazing song. Love the fuck out of it. But you know, Isis, they're just more my type of band. They're sludge metal. They're at more atmospheric. They're more in my lane. So they are God tier for me.
they are a god tier band. And that's that all has to do with personal personal taste. It's is this list is just my taste. That's it. Um we can have an RMA in discussion though. I'm open to talk more about them, but I don't know. Not a lot of their albums click with me. But with ISIS, I love Oceanic. That's one of my top ten favorite albums ever. Um fucking the album with Infiction on it. Infiction is literally my favorite song ever, so yeah, <clears throat> that's hard to debate there. Uh for me at least. That that song just oh my god. I um yeah. I just got speechless just by thinking about it. I just want to hear it again. Uh, fuck. Um, uh, P- Panopticon. Panopticon is probably my most listened to album from a- ISIS. That's almost fucking great. Everything in between that is still pretty good, but not as good, of course. So I do have to, you know, like they are still got here because those two albums are so fucking awesome. But everything in between that is not as good of scores because like you literally have two of the greatest albums ever in my eyes. So, of course, it's hard to top that, but uh, they came pretty fucking close, I would say. Or, uh, well, those albums are still pretty good, though. But not as good. Uh, Ginger, which is a metalcore band um, with a female singer, so I'm interested in checking it out because they do seem cool. But I don't know. <laughs> they got, like, big of a fucking reaction uh, channel, so, yeah, that kind of puts, puts a bad taste in my mouth because I hate reaction channels. But I used to be one. I don't know. But I kind of hate myself, I guess. But um, but yeah, most of them are fucking trash. So I don't know. But Ginger could be interesting. Uh, you know, I'm, I mean reaction channels. Uh, Judas Priest. Iron Maiden has grown on me. But Judas Priest, I honestly don't really listen to them a lot. I just think that Maiden is more enjoyable as a band. Although I would say that Judas Priest is the better band out of the two. Because they are more consistent and more traditional to the to the sound, I think. I think that Maiden experimented more with the sound later on. Oh yeah, and also, I fucking love Fear of the Dark with that fucking Helsing AVI from my playlist. I also love the shit out of that. So yeah, man, I had like a good chat. Like, um, like one of my server members is like the biggest Iron Maiden fan. So I always like, I always had a connection with them, and I used to review them quite a bit. Uh, so we had like a good like um iron maiden conversation like we both kind of went back in time because i used to listen to maiden also quite a bit i have like a lot of their fucking vinyl so it's even weird for me to put them in mid here but i just haven't been listening to them uh recently but we had a like a maiden resurgence i was like oh yeah killers is fucking dope and um uh, number of the beast you know hollow be the name and fucking somewhere in time is like we both think that somewhere in time is probably their best album so that's that's we both have that um unique opinion i guess um so yeah maiden i do still fuck with quite a bit i guess they are still pretty catchy um just priest they're just more a bit more traditional i don't know it just doesn't do the same for me um although came uh kane painkiller is pretty awesome though do fuck with that quite a bit uh camelot camelot is a symphonic metal band uh they are pretty middle of the road to me they they sound like symphony x you know like more of that kind of similar sound where it sounds more like generic symphonic metal, but Camelot is definitely a decent band, I would say. One listen to them more. I do like the Black Halo quite a bit. But I don't love it, you know? Otherwise it would be uh, otherwise it would be high tier, but there are decent songs of that on, but like it's not as good as um as Nine Wish, I would say, personally. Uh Catatonia. Uh, I did put them in God tier. I don't always listen to them. I don't always listen to Catatonia as much, but yeah, if I really have to look at all their albums, all their songs, their tone, their atmosphere, just the way they present their songs, especially the Scourge ones, which still hangs behind me after all this time. Uh, so yeah, I do have to give Catatonia a god even though I haven't listened to Catatonia as much as I used to. But just their whole presentation, the way that fucking the Scourge ones and especially Dead House sounds, fucking amazing atmosphere, the, the alternative doom metal sound with the shoegaze and alt metal um, implement, you know, the, the fusions together. It just sounds fucking amazing. I fucking love their sound. Leeti, you know, awesome song. I love um, the album with the red cover on it. I forgot how it sound again. How it sound, I, I forgot the title of it. Um, I could look it up because I'm a pretty big Catatonia fanboy. You know, <laughs> I was even considering them dropping them to top tier, but that's still a really good rating. 
because I haven't, I've just haven't been listening to them as much as I've like Opet, you know. But that was always kind of the case. Uh, the the Great Cold Distance is pretty fucking great. Um, FIFA Emptiness, Anti Utopian, actually has a higher rating than the original FIFA Emptiness. That's pretty interesting. I haven't actually listened to this re uh, rework, but maybe it's tighter. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, Catatonia, everything about them is fucking awesome. And Silver is still one of my all-time favorite fucking songs. So yeah, um, they are fucking dope. Love Catatonia. Uh, K Dot. Yeah, there was also uh, a Catatonia member in Blood ba Bloodbath. I forgot to mention them. Uh, okay, that's pretty good. I do like them quite a bit. Um, not as much as Modern of the Well. You know, it's Toby Driver's project, so it's, in my eyes, always good because Toby Driver is really interesting. Um, yeah, Modern of the Well is definitely better, but K-Dot, don't sleep on them. They are really atmospheric. They are a fucking avant-garde band, uh, an actual good fucking avant-garde band. Eat shit, Gorgut. Um, yeah, I like K-Dot quite a bit. They're interesting. They're atmospheric. They are, have a really cool tone. Um if you're not into like slow kind of droning music like Earth or uh, Borsch, you know, the Flood album, then I can't really uh, recommend them, but they are still pretty good though. I do like them quite a bit. Killing Joke, you know, the the, the band that Nirvana ripped off. Um, still a <laughs> fucking 80s song. I do like Common Shark quite a bit, but that's not Killing Joke, so I don't know. I haven't really heard a whole album from them, so I can't judge. I just know that controversy. Uh, Kill Switch Engage. Arguably my favorite metalcore band. They have... Well, I already liked them when I did this before. Uh, before like a fan because or like a server member because he's like a huge Kill Switch fanboy. Um, I like End of Arctic quite a bit. Uh, in Due Time is a fucking awesome song. Said that in the stream as well. But the song that has really made me love Kill Switch in case, especially the, the Ben Howard era, which, you know, most people love, so that is not really unpopular. Unpopular opinion. Um, I love fucking My Curse. Uh, My Curse, that tone, that, that scream that he does at the beginning, that, that's kind of meme. It's kind of a meme scream. But uh, it's funny. It's a good scream, I would say. Um, but I love the riffs. I love uh, when they kind of phrase with the tone shift. I really love that. And I adore the bridge. I fucking love how the bridge sounds. It's just fucking amazing. Beautiful, gorgeous fucking riff in the bridge, which I really fucking love. So, um, yeah, I think that Kill Switch is really fucking good. Um, I am kind of like a metalcore, melodic death metal uh, kind of guy right now. So... Like Kill Switch being a metalcore and melodic metal band, like it's it's fucking perfect for me. So, like, the idea of Kill Switch is definitely got here, but like I haven't really, like End of Arctic is pretty good, but I haven't really gotten into a another album as much, so I can't really put them higher, you know, because you have to like you have to have a front to back classic album to be at least in high tier, I would say, and they have to with End of Arctic. Um. But, you know, they don't have a lot else, I would say, that I would put on like that, you know? So, um, yeah, I can't really put them higher because of the reason, but they have some really fucking amazing songs. My Curse is, like, one of my favorite songs. Cannot stop listening to that. It's so good. So, yeah, definitely uh, Kill Switch is pretty dope. Uh, King Diamond, can get into the King Diamond. Uh, I do like Merciful Fate, though, but King Diamond, it didn't, never click with me. I think someone, uh, I think... Downfall Network, Downfall Network explained that the reason that Merciful Fate is interesting is that um, King Diamond hired more jazz musicians and more like actual, like traditional, uh, like classical or like people with a background in music. He hired those type, types of people on Merciful Fate and that's why that band sounds more organic, I would say, in my opinion, or they sound more diverse. Whereas with King Diamond, that like the um, like I think he literally just hired fans or people that were fans of King Diamonds. He hired those on on the King Diamond band, you know, on the solo project. And that's why it sounds more generic because they just want to make metal. Whereas with Merciful Fate, they just wanted to make a really atmospheric and creepy type of band, you know, which was more hard rock and somewhat metal, you know. So that's why uh, Merciful Fate is interesting and King Diamond doesn't click with me. I don't know. 
I, I never returned to it at least. King Gizzard, I don't consider King Gizzard a metal band, but they did one metal album, I think, which I have not really heard, so I can't judge them like that. I've heard like five fucking albums, but I forgot all of them, so um, I cannot really judge them wholeheartedly, so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna withhold judgments. I've heard like five albums, but I forgot all of it, so I don't know, it's, it's all fucking fuzz in my head. King's X, King's X, a really overrated generic prog metal band. I don't give a shit. Kill Motherfucker Depeche Mode, best name ever, but I've not heard a lot of them. It sounds pretty obnoxious to me. Korn is also an interesting band. I don't, I haven't really changed my opinion on them since the last time I did this, but fucking, um, let's call it again. Um, I like the issues album a lot. The tone and the atmosphere is pretty interesting on that album. And uh, Falling Away For Me is one of my favorite fucking songs now ever. Uh, I fucking love the fucking... Um, I'll call it again. I, I, I love the fucking atmosphere on that song. The, the breakdowns, the, the fucking bass. The bass tone on that song is so fucking good. So I love that. I like the, the core and debut quite a bit. But it is inconsistent. Like, they don't really have a front-to-back, like, great album. Like, Issues has issues you know ironically enough but the tone is definitely my favorite like the corn the corn debut is a bit rough around the edges and like fucking uh oh it's called again their 98 album you know fucking <sighs> i forgot the title of it it's not that important but i want to get my info right Follow the leader. Uh, follow the leader. You know that is a decent album, but uh, I think that um, there are just way too many fucking uh, dots on it. <laughs> fucking all in the family exists. So. Um, yeah, I don't know. I want like the corn sound. I do quite like, and I respect corn a lot because they are like the fathers of new metal. So, but I can't. I can't put them in high tier because there's not really an album from them front to back that I love. But I love some of the songs though. I'm looking at Corpus Christi right now. I'm like, wait, like there is one band that I got really into, which is called uh, Vintral. I forgot their name in the in the stream, or I didn't know their name because I just checked out some album covers and then I checked out some songs, and I really liked it. And I thought that was Corpus Christi, but Corpus Christi is like the drunk, dumb brother of Vintral. So I'm looking at this list right now. Looking at the Fs, like I'm 100% sure they're Vin they're called Vintral because I added. I added them to my playlist. Like fucking Trollhammer is one of my favorite fucking songs now. But I don't think they're on the list, are they? I don't think so. Like all the letters are all over the place. So I guess that I'm really random with this type of shit. Um, I want to put them in fucking high tier because I really like Vintral, Vintral now. I even liked them back then, but I didn't know their name. So I apologize for that, but I don't think they, they're even on this list. Or I don't know what their logo looks like. Okay, I can look it up. Uh, logo. Oh, this one. This is uh, I didn't read that. No, okay. That's their logo. I didn't. I did not know that. But um, yeah, the album with the fucking. Ah, uh, shit. Like, I only now discover... Oh, it's, I think it's with two ends. Oh, they're pretty popular, though. Vin Troll, maybe? Two ends. Yeah, okay. Two ends, two L's. Um, I can't spell. Yeah, I mean, they look pretty fucking... Uh, like They look like trolls. I don't know. Extreme folk metal. I'll fuck with them quite a bit. Um, Jachtenstit. Sounds awesome. Um... Not food. Yeah, I can't pronounce their, their fucking covers or their, their album titles, but... um, Yeah, I mean, I listened to this album, I think. Uh, Rock, Grotten's Barn, pretty good. Uh, Yours Vamp. The title track is pretty epic. Uh, fucking uh, Trollhammerin. Trollhammerin with the fucking... Uh, with that AMV. Like, oh my God, it's so fucking good. Um, Yeah, I do love me some Vintroll. They're pretty fucking dope. But where the fuck are they? 
Like I do remember seeing that logo. I, I have seen this, but I could not I could not read Vintral in that. I could not read that. So uh whoever designed that logo, I couldn't read it. So you can't blame me for that, but I just think it's kind of poor design. I don't know. I couldn't read a name in it. I mean if I can see it and I'm like ranking five hundred and ninety nine metal bands, like a fucking casual cannot rank that shit. Or cannot see that shit, I should say. I want to raid Vinsra. I like them. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, this is really annoying. I try. I try this, but every time a fucking test bar comes in the way, cock blocking the fuck out of me. I cannot. Where are they? Like, this looks similar, but it looks way too fuzzy to be it, right? So there. I do remember seeing that logo. Finster Force. No, that's not. No, that's too long. It's not Vintral. I mean, you can tell I like this band because I actually. This is difficult, man. Fuck. I don't see them. This is kind of disappointing because I do. Is it this? Is the funeral? This says funeral, I think. I cannot like click it away or something because then maybe everything will reset and I don't want to risk that. <sighs> what the fuck? Their logo is yellow, right? Or is it something else? It's also green and it's white. Okay, so they have different logos, I guess. So it can be green or white too, I guess. Um, wow, this is difficult. So it can be white or green. This is like a whole different challenge right now. This is really annoying because they do definitely deserve a ranking, but I don't fucking see them. I didn't rank them either, no. Because I don't remember ranking Vintral at all. I'll probably look one more time, and if I can't find them, then I apologize. Because, wow, it's hard to fucking find them in this fucking mountain of shit that I haven't listened to. Or I don't even recognize. It's still somewhat in al alphabetical order. So, it might be this one. Like they have like kind of like a curly type of shit here, right? Or am I wrong? It's white. This, it's this, right? Yeah, it's, it's it is this with like some sides and some butterflies here, with like a cross in the middle. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it's this, right? Uh, I don't know. Um, hmm. Or I'm just gonna pretend it's called uh, that is Vintral because it, it is at the F's. So I don't think there's a band called Funeral out there. Because I'm not sure if it says Funeral or Vintral. I can't fucking tell. I cannot tell that. Um, but I don't see Vintral anywhere else. And they are pretty popular though. So they should be on this list somewhere. But I don't fucking see them. They should be at the F, so yeah. Vulcan back. I mean, it is the closest thing that looks like Vintral to me, so. I apologize for like slagging again, uh, fucking slagging on like this again. I'm not sure if this says Vintral, but I think it says Vintral. So I'm gonna put this one. I'm not sure if this is v Funeral. I'm going to put it in high tier. I'm going to put Vintral in high tier. I think that's just Vintral. I don't fucking know. Um, I can look for a funeral logo. But I don't think it's that, right? No, there's not like a band called Funeral out there. It's just Dark Funeral, which is... That doesn't say that, so... Oh, yeah, yeah, here. Okay. Oh, wait, what? Oh, there is a band called Funeral. Shit. Yeah, this is definitely that logo, right? 
Yeah, it's definitely that logo. So this is not Vintral. Um, okay, I apologize. I cannot rank it. Um, if this is Vintral, I would put it in high tier, but I don't think that Vintral is even on this list because I don't fucking see them. But I do really give a shit about them, man, because I really want to rank them, but I don't think they're on there. I mean, I also really want to rank uh, fucking him and... Uh, how's how they're called again uh, amassures i really like those bands but they're not on it either so it's really weird because they're really fucking popular so so yeah i guess that 599 bands was still no, not enough because they there's still some bands missing um yeah i guess they're not on here because i don't see them so yeah um i apologize for slagging on like this but i really wanted to rank them but i guess it's not meant to be I'm looking, are they still on this list? But I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think they're on there. Oh, that's kind of sad. Um, yeah, but Corporate Clani did nothing for me. So I'm going to put Corporate Clani in low tier. Uh, I do like Vintro quite a bit. But uh, I don't give a shit about... Like, it's just a dumb fucking drunk brother of Vintro. So whatever. Creator. Uh, creator is decent, but... I don't listen to Trash Metal a lot, so I don't really care. But Creator is definitely one of the better bands, I would say. Enemy of God. Caius, I don't really consider a stoner or a fucking metal band, but they they just kind of bore me. But uh, they have, do have some good riffs, so I put them in mid tier. I do like Queers of the Stone Facts more, though, so there's that. Um, Lacuna Coil, don't really care what I've heard, so not really interested. Lamb of God, um, I think I told us, yeah, I did tell the story already in the stream, but if you haven't watched that stream, I basically just, like, I have really entertaining moments with Lamb of God where, like, back in the day um, when Vivo was, like, still more of a bitch, and they're still kind of hard, I guess, but back, w back when they were, m were more bitchy, they, like, censored, laid to rest, and, like, fucking... I forgot the name of him, but the the, the guy in fucking uh, Lamb of God was like, see who gives up. And then, <laughs> like, he had to be quiet, and then the fucking breakdown would come in. It's so fucking funny. Like, everyone in the comments was memeing about that, so that was pretty funny. Um, or, well, he wasn't holding himself, but he just got fucking centered, so, yeah. That was pretty fucking funny. Um, I... Would probably say Redneck is my favorite song. I've heard like six of their albums, but I don't remember anything besides the single. So there you go. You've got something to die for is pretty decent, but I don't listen to that a lot. So whatever. They have some good songs. Uh, Lepros, more generic prog metal. Don't give a shit. Uh, low tier. Boring bands. This is Leviathan, I think. I haven't heard a lot. Um, I haven't heard enough Leviathan to really judge them, but their aesthetic and their logo is pretty cool, so I do want to listen to them more. <coughs> Limp Bizkit, um I do meme on meme on them a lot. Fred is a chat, so there you go. Um, yeah, he's kind of an obnoxious band, but I do like breaks of quite a bit, so I can give them a, a break for that, I guess. And I mean, they're back, and <laughs> Biscuit still sucks, I guess. Yeah, Ecrotado, I suppose. So Link Link Park, probably my favorite childhood band when I was, like, 14 or something, when I was, like, fucking edgy. Hyperterry and Meteor are both pretty good. I would personally say Meteor is my, is my favorite. Hyperterry is still pretty decent. Um, yeah, they are, like, kind of a face. They are, like, I don't know. If you're into Linkin Park, you're not into metal, you know? Same thing as if you're into Green Day, you're not into punk music. So it's kind of like that, you know? So um, I don't really consider them metal, but they're on air. They're fine. I wish Vince was on this list. F fuck this. Um, liquid, te liquid Tension Experiment, which is a side project of Dream Theater, which sounds pretty good, but, you know, you don't have James Lebris, so what is even the point of it? Um... They do have a King Crimson member on it, that's pretty interesting. I do rec recommend it, but I haven't heard it enough myself. Um, yeah. Machine Head, uh, maybe I have a different opinion on them now. I do quite like their debut album. It's really the only front-to-back album that I dig from them quite a bit. But I've, I have got into The Blackening, which is pretty overrated, I think. But it does have good riffs. It is pretty enjoyable. Uh, Machine Head is probably like 
my favorite groove metal band, I would say. So maybe high tier, but Rob Flint is a fucking idiot, though. So I don't know. Maybe his stupidity can knock the be- uh, band down back to mid. I don't know. Meh. Maybe high tier, maybe mid. Um, yeah, maybe I could put them in my high tier. I don't know. They sound a bit too fucking derivative, though. But they have some good breakdowns. Um, Manowar is a really <laughs> gimmicky power model, man. I have to think about their image, but I had to think about that. But, um, yeah, I haven't really hurt a lot myself, but I wasn't really into it, so, man. Uh, Marilyn Manson, I've honestly, don't, I don't think I've ever sat through a whole Marilyn Manson song, but I don't really care about him. But from what I've heard, he covers songs pretty edgy and pretty decently, so, man, I put him in mid there, but I'm not a fan. Mastodon, love Mastodon, top tier. Um, I like their riffs quite a bit. I like that they have like three different singers now. Or like, I think that Brent Hines and uh, the bassist, I forgot I forgot his name, but like they usually sing. And then I think uh, Brent Daler uh, like stepped in and like he has more accessible, more like, uh, like yeah, a beat vocals, I guess, more joyous, I would say. Whereas the other two are a bit more like a, a gruff and a bit more gritty and like a good roll, you know, a bit more heavy. Uh, so it's kind of a preference what you prefer. If you prefer that heavier sound, I would listen to the early shit. If you like the more accessible, like more like, um, I don't know, almost like pop metal sound, I would say, listen to the later stuff. But Mastodon, regardless, is great. I love almost other albums. I would say like the first five or six albums are really catchy and really good but i don't care about the um, their seventh album i think that's still their last album I t- and then maybe have a new album but i don't really give a shit it just sounds really fucking generic to me so i don't i don't get it march of the fire and still like slaps the hardest though for me still fucking awesome got their song uh, Modern of the Well, top tier. Love Beth. Beth is fucking awesome. Uh, leaving your body map equally, almost equally as good. But you know, Beth has more standout tracks, whereas Leaving Your Body Map is more of a consistent work, I would say. So it's kind of what you prefer. Uh, but yeah, still pretty good. I still like it quite a bit. Toby Driver is a genius. Uh, he's probably my favorite um, avant-garde producer, avant-garde metal producer. So um, there's that. I do fuck with it quite a bit. Mayhem, a traditional black metal band, which I do respect, but I never listen to it. So I put it in mid. Respectable band that I don't really enjoy myself. But yeah, I don't know. The Mayhem Burzum thing is pretty entertaining to watch. So you can watch that if you want. Um, the music itself is kind of mid though for me. Uh, Megadeth. Um, Megadeth, I still have a difficult relationship with them because I hate Dave Mustaine. I kind of hate his voice and his politics are fucking dumb. And like, I don't give a shit about politics. So the reason I'm bringing that up is because he, he usually writes it into his own music, like early, early day. And especially now he can't fucking shut up about it. So it kind of ruins the whole band. Um, so, okay, look, I will do this. Megadeth's tone is pretty good. Like Megadeth, you know, Dave Mustaine writing like the early Metallica stuff is also pretty good. So I will put Megadeth in low tier. Next to Limb Biscuit, of course, fucking great. Um, okay, I'll do this. Okay, watch this. Okay. So I think that Megadeth fucking sucks. I think they are a fucking shitty bands. I fucking hate Megadeth. So I could also put them in shit there for that. But, you know, obviously they're not as bad as Chelsea Grin or Black Flag or some shit like that. But I hate... I just hate Damon Stan. Like, I don't mind the others, but I just hate Damon Stan so much. I... Honestly, I almost hate him more than Fred, you know? Um, yeah, Fred is just a douchebag, but Dave Mustaine is also... Like, it's not bad that you're, like, religious or, like, uh, he- like heavily involved involved in politics, but don't, don't fucking write about it, dude. I don't have to hear that shit. So, I don't... I hate his vocals. I just hate... I just hate Dave, you know? I just hate what he does. With the music, but um, you know, he makes good riffs. He has good ass riffs. His riffs are fucking dope. Um, you know, Peace Cells has a lot of good potential in it, but it also has fucking. Oh, it has that really shitty cover on it. 
And like I was fucking arguing with a fucking Megadeth fanboy and I was like or he, he was like, Oh, it's a ten out of ten piece of classic and I'm like, Yeah, but that's I ain't superstitious covers fucking garbage. Like it's so bad. And he's like, Ah yeah. it has its moments and I'm like, bitch, it's fucking trash. What are you talking about? It's fucking awful, awful cover. It's it's worse than Anarchy in the UK, which is a really bad cover as well. So um, yeah, so Megadeth fanboys. Um, I do not fucking mess with the fanbase. Fuck that fanbase. But, um, you know, there are enjoyable parts of Peace Cells. I do like the fucking... Uh, there are some enjoyable riffs on eut Euthanasia and um, fucking Countdown to Extinction. And before you're like angrily typing the comments, um, you know, shit like, oh, the, 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 you're not... You're not a real trash head or some shit. Yeah, I don't like trash metal, if you can tell. I really don't like it. So uh, this this rating shouldn't be surprising. But I am going to do this. Before you're typing your fucking mindless, dumb fucking Megadeth fanboy comments. Um, Rust in Peace is fucking sick. Rust in Peace, great album. Front to back, fucking classic. You know, so, I, so essentially I could put them in high tier for that. Because like bands with... At least a front to back classic album I could consider high tier. So there's that, you know. Or at least if you have a front to back classic, I at least consider you high tier. But I have so many problems with Megadeth that I can't do that. It's not enjoyable to listen to Megadeth, in my opinion. Like the, the vocals and the way it's so fucking wanky. The the wankiness and the fucking vocals are so bad. Or, you know, to me, the wankiness, it doesn't appeal to me, and the vocals are, are objectively bad, I would say. They're objecti objectively fucking trash. I used, like, I used to be a Megadeth fanboy, and I used to say, oh, it's raw, and it adds to the fucking rawness of trash, and I'm like, I'm, I'm full of shit. This, this, that, that statement is full of shit. It's fucking dumb, so... But Rust in Peace is awesome. Tornado of Souls, you know, Holy Wars. I have to with a fucking Angel Beats AMV on my playlist. So I still have some Megadeth on my playlist. I still like that song quite a bit. But Megadeth is pretty trash. But I'm I am I am gonna put them in mid tier. Because Rust in Peace exists, you know? So there's that. But you know, <laughs> I'm gonna laugh at all the people that are like raging that they that I put them in low tier. And eventually I put them in mid tier. Like that was kind of my, my fucking stick there, so. Uh, hopefully I pissed off fucking Megadeth fanboys because you guys are all, you guys are pretty dumb. Um, like, I mean, granted, not every Megadeth fan is dumb. You know, the ones that are respectable, the ones that are just like decent human beings. Of course, I'm not talking about those. If you just like Megadeth and you just casually enjoy them, you seem like a chill fucking douche, you know? But if you are like a blind fucking Dave Mustaine worshipper and you're like, oh, everything he does is awesome, like, uh, you need a fucking uh, reality check. Like, get the fuck out. Merciful Fate, like I said, more interesting than uh, King Diamond, so I'm going to put them in mid tier. Not, uh, it's not really a band I listen to a lot, but I respect them quite a bit. So um, there's that. Uh, the first two albums, of course, are classic, but I never put it on. Uh, Meshuga. Meshuga is um, the highest regarded gen band. And I mean, gen as a genre, of course, it's not interesting. It's not, it doesn't really go anywhere. Except for, uh, except for Meshuga, I would say, in my opinion, because their stuff, it does create kind of a tension, kind of like a slow build up, And then, well, it does kind of keep the same pace. It's kind of dumb. But um, they're interesting, though. They have a good tone. They, um, they are pretty heavy. They are pretty fucking intense band. So... When I'm in the mood, I do like to play them quite a bit. So I'm going to put Meshuga in the high tier. Uh, Bleed. I have to put an AMV on my playlist. That's like one of my favorite songs right now. Like Bleed is a cliche song to like, but I do like Bleed quite a bit. I like uh, Demiurge quite a bit. I like Destroy, Race, Improved, the album. I like Obzen quite a bit. So Obzen is probably my favorite to play because uh, Combustion slaps, also slaps pretty fucking hard. So... Yeah, they have a lot of songs I enjoy. And the fucking breakdown on um, Millennium Sinai Christ, especially the live version, is fucking awesome. I showed it to like one person and probably shouldn't have done that because she was kind of terrified, but uh, I, I had a good time. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Uh, Metallica. You know, pretty, cl pretty cliche to say, but they are my favorite trash model band. They're not necessarily like fast all the time. They have like slow parts and they have like parts 
that are more atmospheric and more attention building. And it's not just keep fucking thrashing around like fucking Megadeth does, you know? Megadeth is all, all for speed and cocaine. Metallica has subtle moments, you know? Metallica has moments that I enjoy. The vocals are way better. The production is way better because they are a way more richer band, of course. So can't really blame Megadeth for that, but it's just less enjoyable to listen to. So I put Metallica in the high tier. Uh, most people say, oh, Metallica is fucking awesome. So they deserve topper god tier, but... Uh, try to listen to Lulu of fucking Saint Anger and like say again that they're fucking God there because uh, yeah you would be uh, full of shit if that was the case. So they're not they're not top or God because they have made some really bad albums ever since the the load and reload era. I would even call those albums decent, you know. But ever since the two thousand, they have been pretty fucking shit. So I can't really put them any higher than higher. Uh, ministry, I've heard some other stuff. Uh, the, the dude in this band has wh he went full retard, or he like, like I think he's anti vaxxing and shit, so he's fucking dumb. So, and he's weird, he's weird as hell. Uh, but I did like their music, I want to listen to them more mid tier, maybe high tier one day, but uh, they're one of the like OG industrial bands. Uh, Misfits, I put Misfits in high tier. I like the Glenn Danzig era quite a bit. Die, die, darling, and, uh, you know, shit like that. Really fun. Really fun to put on. Um, but I do like the Graves era more. I like, I do like Famous Monsters quite a bit. It's one of my favorite albums. Um, and uh, Saturday Night is, oh, it's so fucking fun. So I could put them in top tier for that. But the reason they're not top tier, because the reason they're not top tier is that everything since Famous Monsters has been fucking garbage. And even Misfits fans, even Misfits fans want to fucking argue that Everything after Glenn Danzig is not worth it. And I'm like, it totally is. Graves is underrated. I do fuck with Graves quite, quite a bit. I, I am personally more into Graves than uh, Glenn, so there's that. Come at me, misfit fanboys. But I do like the band. I do still want to get that shirt though. But, you know, it's cliche to wear, but it still looks cool as shit. That's the reason why it's so popular. Uh, Morbid Angel. I like Morbid Angel quite a bit. Um, their name, you know, Dark Angel. And generic Morbid Angel looks interesting, you know. Sounds more like a Morbid Angel. Sounds more interesting than a Dark Angel. Dark Angel just sounds like an emo came up with it. Or like an emo edgy boy. Um, Morbid Angel actually sounds like an interesting concept. So I'm into that name. The, the logo looks fucking sick. Definitely want to wear that on the shirt. Um Alters of Madness is pretty decent. The uh, the album after that, I forgot the title, but Blessed for the Sake, like all of their albums are in alphabetical order. Um, you know, Covenant, I love Covenant. That's that's a great album. That's I would say their most enjoyable front to back. It's their most accessible album. I think it is like the best selling death metal album ever or something. I look it up, it has like hundred thousands of uh, sales. That's a lot for death metal, so <coughs> Um, yeah, the album after that, the last one with David Vincent, really weird tone, but it is sludgy, so it's cool, but the tone is off. I kind of like Entombed, I don't know, but Morbid Angel is better. Um, yeah, the Steve Buttfucker era is pretty good. Um, I like Formulas Fatal to the Flesh, that is, that is definitely the most underrated album, I fucking love that album. Uh, Nothing Is, is like, that's probably my favorite Morbid Angel song, that song is so fucking dope. Love the fuck out of Nothing Is. The, the 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 arm cover is dope. Their logo is dope as shit. So uh, they're not <clears throat> they're not top or god because they're not my favorite death metal band. I definitely prefer um, Cryptosy, I would say, and even Death to a certain degree. Um, I probably listen more to Morbid Angel than Death, but Death is like Death is flawless, and Morbid Angel they definitely have some fucking stingers in their career. Uh, like that fucking like hair tick is weird. That album is just static to me. Um, Illus Divinium, that shit, you know. Like I thought it was interesting, but everyone hates it. Like I, at least it was unique. But their last album is generic garbage. So I hate that album. And everyone is just like, yeah, okay, that's Morbid Angel. And I'm just like, no, this is garbage. This is bad. What the fuck. It just li sounds like a lifeless drap. It sounds like fucking... How's that band called again? 
uh, it sounds like ghoul, you know, like generic, dry, lifeless death metal, or like oh, I'm not necessarily grindcore, but I'm not sure if ghoul's on this list, but I would like put ghoul in lower shit there. That's not like fucking shit to me. To offend like a fucking uh, I forgot how that guy was called again, like like this guy that does metal videos <laughs> and that one guy, right? Um, Gargar bots, whatever that dude. I forgot his name, but that dude is like a massive ghoul fan, but I I don't get it. <coughs> uh, Motley Crue. I'm not really into Motley Crue myself, but uh, they have some decent stuff, so I put them in mid there. Um, like he, like I think a lot of people hate them, and a lot of people love them, and I'm just kind of like, yeah, I kind of I kind of stop saying you either love or hate them, and then just me saying ah, I'm I'm okay with them. <laughs> That's weird as shit, but. Um, I am okay with Molly Crew, you know. I think that um, uh, Kickstarter Mars is awesome, you know. Uh, Dr. Feel Good, the album is pretty decent. So I have a good time with Molly Crew from time to time, but um, like definitely listen to them when you're drunk or when you like have like low IQ, then they're probably a good band. <laughs> I don't know, they're not really for me. It's it's glam, you know. They're definitely better than Def Leppard, that's for sure. I will say that. Uh, Motorhead. I do not like Motorhead. I put them in low tier. Uh, Lemmy, he does like he has kind of a, like a raspy voice, which appeals to some people. It does not really resonate with me personally. The music, like I think Lemmy also said, is more like traditional punk music, or it's more punk than metal. So I don't. Well, I mean, Motorhead, of course, is a metal band. I'm not gonna deny that, but like I don't really care. I don't really listen to them. I do like Ace of Spades though. Like who doesn't? But like besides that, I don't really care. Like the like I do think that Overkill the song is better than the band though. I will say that. But uh, I do not really like Motorhead. I don't really care. So you you can be pissed off about that. I am not a Motorhead fan. I like I personally think that they are the ACDC of metal. Like other albums sound the same to me. It it does. It has no real significant difference to me. So yeah, I'm not into them. Mr. Bungle, um, top tier. Love Mr. Bungle. Unique, weird as shit. Um, really fucking bizarre. Especially when you watch that bizarre TV uh fucking performance. I think it's called like that. I'm not sure, but um, that was pretty fucking funny. And they fucking covered Lauren Hill on that stage, like uh, the most popular song, "Do Up That Thing," I believe. <laughs> Uh, Mike Patton, you're weird as fuck, but, um, yeah, Mr. Bungle's pretty dope. I like them quite a bit, so I definitely recommend them if you're into weird avant-garde bands. Also, way better than fucking Gorgas. <laughs> I also, I always like to get, like, a fucking stab in at that garbage band. Yeah, so bad. I don't know why anyone likes them. Oh, uh, you can explain to me, you can explain why you're into that shitty band, but, uh, yeah, I would like to know. Message me on Discord or on here. Uh, my Dying Bride. I've tried to get into them multiple times. And they have some pretty interesting atmosphere. Um, but unfortunately, though, they have... Like, they have some, like, female band members, I believe, or, like, one. But she doesn't... She does not sing or she doesn't growl, which is unfortunate because I do like that dynamic quite a bit, like in Draconian. Um, they do not have that. And I think that's kind of a missed opportunity, so... Yeah, I don't know. But um, I've, heard, I've heard more of their stuff, and it's pretty dark. It's really depressing. It's really fucking... I don't know. It's heavy as shit, but it doesn't click with me like the way fucking uh, Draconia or even Swallow the Sun does in, in a sort of degree. I think that Swallow the Sun is the same thing as my Dying Bride, like that Dev Doom sound. But it brings us more into a modern, more approachable jacket, I think. Whereas My Dying Bride, it doesn't really click with me. And their name is edgy as shit. My Dying Bride. Like, Jesus, guys. Uh, guys. Jesus. Did I say Jesus, guys? Jesus Christ, guys. Like, fucking calm down. That's a really over-the-top band name. Mirker, uh, edgy chick that did black metal. Uh, I've heard it a bunch in a commercial. Didn't, didn't click with me, but I haven't really listened to it as well, so I can't judge. Uh, Modder, not the song. Napalm Death. I want to listen more to Napalm Death, but at the moment I feel pretty mid about them. They have a pretty solid sound. They're really consistent, but uh, same like Motorhead. It, 
like consistency is not everything like being unique and having a really good arm that i care more about that than let's say consistency in my opinion but you know being consistent and unique like opet is like fucking great right but i'll get to them nail blivers cars i've heard saunders stuff i've heard their debut album which did not do anything for me I'm not interested in them, but I think I've heard like half of their album and it sounds like more generic progressive demo. They sound like a fucking... They sound like Edge of Sanity with an identity crisis, if that, if that makes sense. I don't get it. It's it's really overrated. I don't I don't get it. It's low tier. Meh. I wasn't into it. Necrofaggot. I uh, wasn't into that myself, but uh, funny name. Necrofagist, whatever. A funny name. Neurosis. Um, I've talked about Neurosis in a bit. Um, I did say they are like the better version of High on Fire. And I've listened more to Neurosis. I like Locustar a lot. That I fucking love that song. Of that album with the guy with the bloody eyes with the snakes on it. That one. I've got the title of it. But um, Silvery True Blood or some shit. Whatever. Um, I think that album has like an interesting atmosphere. But like I love Isis so much that... I wanted another band like that, but Neurosis, like they have sludge riffs and they do deliver in a, in a, some kind of degree, but they also just don't really go anywhere with the sound. They just kind of drone on in kind of an atmosphere. And if you're really not in that mood, Neurosis is not really for you. You know, usually with Isis, they like they have a good atmosphere as well, like a really crystal clear kind of tone, like you're floating in the ocean, but they also hit hard as shit like you're fucking drowning in it so i love that about them like they always kind of deliver in some way whereas neurosis you have some songs where they really fucking uh do that shit as well but most of their stuff they just kind of drone on and sometimes they wake up and they give you a good riff but it's rare like yeah i had that in locust star but not in a lot of other shit. So I'll put them in mid there because I do respect them and I do f love Locust Star, but I don't know. It's I want to like them more because they are like considered the best sludge men and I don't see it. I don't get it, personally. Nevermore, um, I like the instrumentation a bit, quite a bit, and uh, the vocals are interesting, but I wouldn't say they're really for me. They are in they yeah they are unique though. Like they are more operatic and more like symphonic in a way almost. Uh, personally not really into it but um, yeah it is decent um, Nightwish good bands my favorite symphonic metal band I put them in high tier I like the female vocals quite a bit I like the compositions they're pretty elegant pretty nice uh, Once is a great album love that album I did Oceanborn once I've reviewed it once listened to it I think a couple times I like it, but I don't love it. I haven't really returned to it like I did with Once. Once is fucking great. Love that album front to back. So that's the reason they're high tier. They could be top tier or even god tier because um, like most people don't really consider their stuff after um, like the original um, uh, female lead. You know, when she left Taraya uh, Tur Tunan, I think. Taraya Tunan. Taraya Turnin or something, I don't know. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. Um, but it's Taraya Turunin, I think. That's her name. I'm going to lock my fucking answer in. But I think she uh, left after once. And like after that, they have been kind of dodgy ever since. So I haven't really heard a lot of that stuff. But I've heard the opening song of that album after once, that, after that hi hiatus. And I love that song. That song is fucking amazing. And I was like, um, uh, like a Melodef kind of dude online. And he also said that that was his favorite album, like the the one after once. Wishmaster, maybe I don't remember it, but no, it's like an that's like an older album as well. And it's a double little ugly main song. Definitely listen to that. Um, but yeah, I like Nightwish quite a bit. Uh, maybe if you listen more to their later stuff, they could be top there. But even with their early stuff, I'm kind of like ah. I like this one. I'm kind of mad on that one. I don't like the debut as much. I don't like Wishmaster as much. I like Oceanborn quite a bit. I love Wands, you know. Uh, Nile. I think there are some Gorgas members in this band. Quote me if I'm wrong, but like the tone sounds like shit, so it might be true. But Nile, they they're not as bad as Gorgas. So I put them in loads here. 
Their tone is pretty garbage, though. Um, Nine Inch Nails. Um, I named my fucking cat after this band. That's the way to introduce your band. The trend is right there right now. <clears throat> yeah, so if you can if you can tell, I am a pretty big fan of Nine Inch Nails. I have kind of fallen out of favor with them. I might even prefer Fear Factory, but I've listened to Nine Inch Nails a whole bunch more. You know, fucking Pretty Aid Machine, I think, is a good. Um, the Downward Spiral, of course, fucking classic, classic industrial album. Arguably the best one. Um, yeah, so... The Fragile is probably my personal favorite. It has really good atmosphere. Love that shit. With Teeth, I think it's pretty enjoyable, but it is somewhat mellow. So if you're into a more mellow mood or it's, you know, more approachable, catchy, more a beat or mellow tone, it is kind of both, I guess. Then With Teeth. With Teeth is probably like the most accessible one. So it is somewhat overrated, but I do like it. Everything after With Teeth is kind of hit or miss for me, but uh, Year Zero, I thought was still good. But after that, it... Uh, Gets kind of mad for me, but I still really like the first four or five albums. So can't say that about a lot of bands in there. So I'm, they're definitely still top tier for me. They're still top tier bands. Still love them. Uh, I re listened to Downward Spiral recently again, and I really got into like Marshall the Picks and especially Closer. Like Closer, like that cliche song, but um, I got a fucking Mirai Nikki AMV with uh, Closer. It's really fucking enjoyable. I think. I enjoy it more than the original than the video than the original video, I would say, the music video. Which is like considered like a, a fucking disturbing masterpiece, but I don't know. It's weird. Well, Mirai Nikki is weird as well, but uh, I like it. I like anime. <laughs> if you couldn't tell at this point. Obituary, a uh, pretty generic death metal band, but I've heard, I think, the third album, which was pretty decent. So I'm going to put that in. For that, I put them in mid there. Uh, their first album is pretty generic and has a shitty tone. Uh, their second album is pretty good, though, the one with the eye on it. I think that's their second album. So, uh, But yeah, they don't really inspire me to listen to them more. Obscura, garbage album, but I haven't heard much of the band. I mean, great idea to name yourself after that fucking shitty album. Oh man, Gorkus is so garbage. Um, Mice and Men, I don't like Mice bands. Modest Mice fucking sucks. Onslaught, I don't know. Opeth, I've name dropped them one time, I think. Opeth is definitely God tier. They are probably my favorite bands are Agalog, Agalog or Opeth kind of go back and forth for me. Opeth, they have more um, they have more albums that I would say are consistently enjoyable from the back, but Agalog has like almost a perfect discography, so they kind of go back and forth for me. I would say Agalog is like, they would be better almost objectively if, if the last album wasn't boring. So I could put Opeth over there but Obed also some really gen uh, boring albums after that after Watershed I love Watershed but ef everything after that is not that enjoyable but um, I think I've talked about Opeth so much I listen to them all the time they are a perfect band to my eyes um, should I sell the band a bit more but I think you've heard of Opeth at this point <laughs> they're just like I shouldn't even men talk about them they're just amazing to me just check them out. You will like it. Trust me. Uh, Orphan Land. Uh, pretty mid tier. I like the the ocean, whatever. That album is pretty odd, but and uh, they've done an album with Stephen Wilson. Stephen Wilson did the production on, which was also pretty decent. But I don't always listen to them. But they are an enjoyable band, I would say. From time to time. Uh, Overkill. Boring band. Generic trash. Um, I'm not into trash metal. Um. Bobby Blitz is a pretty explosive vocalist, though. I'll give him that, but uh, I'm not into his music, so meh, loser. Ozzy Osbourne. Um, he is kind of a clown, I think. Kind of a dumbass, but Ozzy, he, like, he had fucking Randy Rhodes. Like, having Randy Rhodes is fucking awesome. He had Zach Wild. Zach Wild made some pretty great songs for him. He, like, No More Tears, you know, P pretty great. Hellraiser, and, you know, I prefer. Aussie's version over Motorhead. I think that most people prefer Motorheads, but I prefer Aussie's personally uh, because I'm not a big Motorhead fan. Um, so yeah, Aussie has some great songs. Mr. Crowley's got there. Mr. Crowley's fucking amazing. But I love the live version, but I'm not a huge fan of the studio version, if that makes sense. I do still like it though, but I'm way more into the live version. 
Pen of Salvation, uh, pretty emotional, kind of tearing at your heartstrings, almost cry porn kind of band. I like their album B quite a bit. Um, if Jeb Buckley would create a metal band, it would be Pain of Salvation. So that is at least what I think. So there you go. A uh, pretty interesting band, but they're not high tier because you have to be in the mood for them. And like I, I enjoy B quite a bit, but like in either Impious, I think is awesome. But like there are like the, all the spoken word sections are fucking dumb. So I don't know. There are definitely some problems on it. And I have two albums before that which are really acclaimed, which I am kind of indifferent towards. So whatever. Uh, Pantera, probably the best group metal band, but I think that Pantera is really obnoxious in your face about most of their stuff. I love Floods, though. Floods is an amazing song. It's kind of similar to Down. Like, I love Bury Me in Smoke, and I would probably consider that, consider that my favorite song with Phil and Selma on it, but um, with Floods, is pretty amazing, too. So I have to give them mid-tier for that, but um, Pantera is w- way too obnoxious for me to put any higher, at least for me, so... Like I would say, uh, Cowboys and uh, Vulgar are pretty classic, you know, especially Cowboys in my opinion, but uh, yeah, that album covers garbage and uh, not every song hits, not everything slaps. So, so yeah, uh, this is Disgusting Bands. That is fucking garbage. Um, Paradise Lost, I like quite a bit. Um, I think these days I listen more to Top or Negative now, but they always kind of go back and forth to me. I think as a metal band, I prefer Paradise Lost, but as a band in general, I prefer Top or Negative, if that makes any sense. Um, I think that um, the album uh, Draconian Times is pretty enjoyable. I think that Draconian got their name because of this Paradise Lost album, so I'm always thankful for that. I think that's the case, because Draconian came after Paradise Lost. Um, yeah, so I, I like them quite a bit. Not as much as Draconia, of course, but there you go. Periphery, generic gent bands um, that I don't give a shit about. They sound like lifeless metal to me, so I don't care. Pestilence, really dull death metal band from the Netherlands. I don't care. I'm low tier. Pig Destroyer. I want to like them more because they are like considered the best grindcore band. And I mean, Carcass existed like 20 years before now, so that's kind of funny to me. But uh, Pink Destroyer is like seen as the best band of the scene now, today, you know? So um, I don't necessarily dis- disagree because I hate everything, every grindcore band like ever now, so from today at least. So I don't necessarily disagree with that, but um, the Pink Destroyer. It's still grindcore to me. Grindcore still stuff like shit. So I don't know. They never were really that enjoyable. But they have moments where I'm like, oh, this is kind of enjoyable. So I guess I put them in low tier. But eh, I think they're really overrated. They have, t- they have titties though on one arm. That is arm cover. That's pretty enjoyable. Uh, Pork Pantry. Not really metal, but uh, I would put them in top tier. They have metallic riffs. You know, if you listen to their early space rock shit, that's definitely not fucking metal. But, um, like, fucking in absentia and onwards, like, that, there are some metallic riffs. And Parker Patria is great to vibe to them. Um, I like Stephen Wilson as a composer. He's, like, I think he is, like, one of the most interesting persons to listen to. He's, he always has something um, valuable to say. He's, he always has something interesting to say. So I fuck with Parker Patria quite a bit. The uh, reason they're not got here is because... I don't really consider them a metal band, and it would be weird to put a non-metal band on a god tier, you know, I think at least. But, like, to me, they are probably god tier, but I don't know. Like, I don't always listen to their early stuff. Like, I listen to Signify and Onwards and don't really listen to their first three. But you can also say that about Opeth. I don't really fuck with their last three or four albums, so you could say that, or with Flames, you know. But, like, they are, like the goats you know they are like the kings of metal in my opinion they just sound like the best metal bands in pork Patry, they are hardly metallic at all so it's kind of hard for me to re- to take that in consideration with that but um fear of Bl- fear of blank planet is pretty pretty great album and uh anesthetize is like an amazing song so of course that's one of my all-time favorite songs of course like that song is a fucking journey uh possessed I think the first death metal band. It's not death, surprisingly enough, but uh, Possessed ca- came before them. And Possessed is a perfect ex- example of if you're first, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're 
the better one, you know, or the best one. Like people after you can still improve and uh, make better music than you. So uh, yeah, Possess is the perfect perfect example of that. So loads here. I don't like them. Um, Postmortem, good Slayer song. I've heard some Power Trip. I wanna. Well, I like the tone of Power Trip, but it's more it's modern trash metal. Like who gives a shit? Um, only like boomers that only listen to fucking trash metal. Uh, Primordial. Want to like them more. They have an interesting folk metal song going on, but it's nearly not as good as uh, Insiferum, so I'm putting them in mid tier. Uh, Protest the Hero. Uh, pretty much if Between the Bear and Me... It's basically just Between the Bear and Me, but they don't have a song called Selkie, so yeah, low tier as well. But um, maybe, maybe I put Between in mid, because Protest the Hero is way, w way weaker than them. Yeah, fuck it. Between the Barry Music Mid there. Yeah, L like their modern stuff, I don't give a shit about it. But between, like, like Alaska, Selkies is fucking amazing. So just for that song alone, I'll put them in mid there. Whatever. Um, I'm still gonna make the feed up probably after a while. Queen's Rock. Um, maybe Queen's Rock is high there. Because I do like Empire quite a bit. Yeah, fuck it. Let's put them out here. I did put Queen's Rock in mid here in the last video because they have a lot of shit after Jeff Tay or after um, the guitarist leaves. I forgot his name. Uh, but, you know, Operation Minecraft, of course, fucking classic album. Empire, I would say, is arguably even catchier, but uh, Minecraft is better, though, you know? So, pretty epic stuff. They had uh, fucking. Oh, what's that epic song called again? Not the, the title track, but. Um... Yeah, fuck it, let's look it up. Um, it's like a 10 minute epic song, but I don't remember the title. Uh, Queen Zrrk. Yeah, that's not the title, of course. Oh, uh, yeah, still to this day, uh, Queen Zrrk is still the only band that I've seen live, so that's something, I guess. But I do. I do want to watch more bands. Um, fuck. Sweet Sister Mary is epic. I haven't listened to it in a while, if you couldn't tell, but uh, it is a pretty epic song. 10 minute fucking prog epic, which was like one of the earliest like epics out there in prog metal, I would say. Or like at least one of the first good ones. Uh, yeah, Fate Warning, you ain't good in my opinion. Uh, Quiet Ride, probably shit there, but I don't listen to them a lot. A Rage Against the Machine, really fucking overrated band. Um, People that are like, say, or like, <sighs> like people that say, like, Rage of One of the Great, like, no, they're not. Uh, they were good for their generation, you know. Um, but yeah, I think that Evil Empire is pretty good, but I think that their first album is just kind of hit or miss for me. The production is pretty good, but I don't know. Like, if you've heard the first debut, you've kind of heard everything they have to offer. Evil Empire is just like slightly improves upon that, in my opinion. And um, Battle of Los Angeles just sounds like, I don't know, a band scraping for ideas. It, it sounds pretty hopeless to me. Uh, so, yeah, they have, like, two good albums. I'm, I'm like, okay, this band is okay, decent, you know. But people that call them, like, the greatest of the 90s or something, like, fuck off. Like, fucking Deftones exist, Paradise Lost, Pork Country, which is not that good in the 90s, but still better than fucking Rage, in my opinion. Well... Maybe not that good, but uh, yeah, you have fucking ice or uh, uh, in flames in the nineties, uh, opad nineties shit, you know, way way fucking better. So, rage is still good though, but it's like there are some really fucking fanboys out there that like overhype them to the center. Like, calm the fuck down. Like, listen to listen to some of these fucking bands. You'll probably shit your pants, but you'll also realize, hey, these bands are better. Okay, I guess. <laughs> And they might improve their music days. I don't know. Um, Rainbow, pretty good. I put them next to Black Sabbath. Um, same thing with Dio and Ozzy. I prefer their main bands. You know, when they did their, uh, when they were in bands, they were pretty good. But th when they did their solo stuff, it was a bit more derivative. Same thing as King Diamonds. Yeah, I guess so. But I do definitely prefer Black Sabbath and uh, Rainbow, of course, over Merciful Fate, in my opinion, at least. Um, yeah, Rainbow, their first album is pretty good. Uh, I like Catch the Rainbow quite a bit. It's probably my most listened to song from them. I mean, Stargazer, 
you do have to kind of reserve yourself for it because it's such a fucking masterpiece that you have to kind of go away from it. Otherwise, it will get old. But it is a fucking timeless masterpiece, though. Like, Stargaze is like an objective, like, amazing song, I would say. If you like, if you don't like Stargaze, what the fuck is wrong with you? Um, yeah, so that album is pretty sick. Uh, well, uh, Rising, you know, Rising is pretty good. Uh, Light in the Black is also really good. The the song, the song um, after, fucking Stargazer. Stargazer just sounds fucking. Even that title is amazing. And then you hear the song, and you're like, the song is somehow even better than the title. Stargazer sounds already amazing. The song is a masterpiece. Uh, Rammstein, pretty mid. I've gotten into Sunne or something. Yeah, Sunne, which is their most acclaimed song. That is pretty decent. Got it with an Attack on Titan AMV. Uh, pretty decent, but um, I think that Rammstein is like really like poser kind of shit. I don't think they're shit, but they're really like a poser band, you know? You're not really into metal if you listen to Rammstein, but they are okay, you know? You can listen to way worse industrial shit like strapping young lads which <laughs> so much like that they have kind of grown on me to be honest so there's that roots i like the sepultura song rob zombie um i also have a different rob zombie opinion now i've listened more to rob zombie in like a shovel and i have to say i don't get it Rob Zombie sounds sloppy. He sounds inconsistent. I don't think he's sketchy at all. He sounds really annoying, obnoxious. Um, I don't get Rob Zombie. I don't get it. Like, I've played him on Guitar Hero 3. I don't like a song there. I forgot the title because I don't give a shit. Um, can someone explain Rob Zombie to me? I, I don't get it. It just sounds sloppy and bad to me. I don't know. But it's not like... It's not unlistenable but it almost gets there if you get me so i don't know low tier for me i don't really like it myself um that's three hours well i'm wrapping up right now so rolling cry is pretty good tone but i've i've not heard them in a long time so i can't honestly rate them sabaton pretty enjoyable bands i might listen to them more they're really over the top uh, i'll put them in mid there um uh, maybe i'll put them in high tier one day when i like Maybe when I do drugs, maybe then. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't do that. Uh, Sabbath, I thought already... Well, I rated Abbott. Mm, whatever, I don't know the difference. <clears throat> uh, Samuel is a weird experimental black metal band, which I've heard a bit, and it was fucking... It is out there. I don't know. Uh, I do recommend if you're into weird shit, but even for me, that is a bit much. Um... Sabotage, um, I've heard some of their stuff, like their early stuff doesn't appeal to me. They have like some later epic songs which I like, so I enjoyed that. I, wa I wanted to listen to that more, to that album with the Blue Sky on it, which I liked, which was, I think is their last album. I like that album though. Um, when I heard that, I was kind of like, ah, I want to li listen more to them, but I haven't done that ever since, but I am still interested in checking them out more, but... I put them in mid tier. It sounds like uh, an, a Queensrÿche inspired band, as opposed to Crimson Glory, who literally just rips them off, in my opinion. There's a difference there. Like Sabotage is definitely an O to Queensrÿche. Crimson Glory just literally tries to steal their shit, tries to steal their style. And I mean, Crimson, the Crimson Glory singer later got into Queensrÿche, like their later shit, which okay. Oh yeah, yeah, Saxon. I've heard Saxon. Um, no, they're fine. <laughs> I used to say that they're better than Iron Maiden, just to piss off Maiden fans, but I don't know. Maiden's fan base is pretty respectable, so there was no reason for me to do that. Uh, so yeah, fuck me. I guess Saxon is fine. I don't really mind them. Scorpion, same thing. I'm fine with them. Um, I change that song. It's not even metal, but that song is pretty enjoyable to me. Uh, Rocky Like a Hurricane is enjoyable. Um, I mean, their album covers are fucking garbage. I hate their album covers. Like, they're really bad. Like, if you're going to defend their uh, here and say, oh, they're great. I mean, they literally have, like, a fucking album cover with a guy that has, like, gum stuck to his hands. 
that is attached to a tit, like like a, from a woman in a in a fucking um, in a in a in a cab, you know, in a taxi. So, like, what the fuck is that? Who comes up with that shit? And then later, like, yeah, they they are like harassing women on their covers, but yeah, like, like they also have a cover with fucking virgin killer where they literally have a fucking minor, a naked minor on the cover. Scorpions, what the fuck, man? What, 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 what is wrong with you? I do not know how drunk or how high they are when they decided to fucking have those scores. I don't fucking know what's wrong with them. Um, but I don't know. They are enjoyable at their times. The the <laughs> the fucking bands. Oh, their covers are fucking horrendous though. They they have the worst covers, but their music is pretty decent. So. Like, I don't necessarily consider them metal. They sound more like a hard rock band to me, but I had a discussion with fucking Downfall once, and he got pretty pissed off when I said that. I'm like, okay, they don't really sound metal to me, but sure. Uh, he thinks they're metal as fuck. Okay, cool, man. But I mean, Downfall is dead at this rate, so whatever. He can think what he wants. I don't give a shit. Uh, Septic Flash, not really into them. Like, more of the symphonic death metal kind of shit. I don't think it, it blends well. I, I already explained that. Uh, Sepultura, um, I like quite a bit. I get, I'm gonna give them high tier. Um, I think Sepultura is probably my personal favorite trash model bands uh, outside of the big four. You know, Metallica I would say is the most enjoyable one. Sepultura I would say like uh, Metallica is sometimes a bit like they are pretty overrated. <laughs> I would say even for me because I quite like them, but. Um, yeah, I don't know, Sepultura, um, I listen to Arise now and then, it's pretty fucking great, um, Beneath the Remains is pretty classic, uh, Chaos AD, Chaos AD is probably my favorite groove metal album, that album is pretty enjoyable, Territory ID and Slave in the World are great singles, and some, there are, there's some other shit, there's like one song at the end though, which was like remix, which sounds fucking garbage, but I think that's only on reissues, that sounds pretty bad, but uh, the, the sound of Chaos AD is pretty good, Everything after that kind of sucks, though. I think that Roots has a really garbage tone, but Roots, Bloody Roots, is probably my favorite song from them because, like, everyone loves that song, right? So, well, not, I'm not ju just, like, being a sheep, but um, I genuinely like that song. I like the breakdown. I like how fucking heavy it sounds. And it's kind of weird. It's kind of bizarre that the song is so popular despite it being so intense. It's so fucking heavy. It's, it's so, like, the, the, the fucking riff is so in fucking heavy. And, like, he's literally just growling on the song, like he does with most... Yeah, I mean, most Sepultura songs are just growling, so... Are a lot of growls, so... I'm like, how is the song so big? But, yeah, I guess the the riff, the the grooves are so infectious that people really got into it. It's pretty fascinating how popular Sepultura got. And then right at, the, at their peak, they fucking... I don't know, they just give up, which is... Or Max Cavalier leaves, you know, so... And there's that. Which was an interesting move, and I mean, everything ever since Ca uh, Max Cavalier left is fucking garbage, so don't even bother. Uh, Psy. Love Psy, probably my favorite avant-garde band, if, well, either Modern of the Well or Psy, go kind of back and forth. Um, yeah, their, their Sonic Spear or whatever, how, how, however it's called. I forgot the title, but that album cover's fucking trippy, and the music is even trippier it's really fucking bizarre but it is really fucking fascinating and really cool to listen to <coughs> and definitely listen to when your mind is altered if you get me six feet under they are the worst bands fucking shit there well attila still worse but um six feet under well yeah they are the second worst band i would say they are really bad Chris Barnes, he can't sing anymore. Stop making music, bruh. And whenever they, they're doing like Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, ACDC covers, I am fucking dying from the inside. It's so fucking bad. <sighs> what the fuck is wrong with you, Chris Barnes? And I think he also made a statement of uh, Cannibal Corpse selling out. Yeah, fucking eat a dick, Chris Barnes. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ, that guy is so... He is out of his fucking element. He is out of his mind. Uh, Slayer. Uh, I like Slayer quite a bit. 
not as much as Metallica. I like them. I do like them way more than Megadeth now. But Slayer does have kind of a shitty, shitty tone. I put them in high tier because Slayer has a lot of enjoyable moments in their first five albums. But um, their tone is a bit inconsistent. And uh, yeah, they kind of dropped the ball hard after a season. So I can't really put them higher than high. So I would still say that Metallica is the better band though. Uh, Sleep. I think I put a sleep on haven't heard before, but every time, like sometimes I shovel through my fucking stoner mix or like sludge mix and sleep comes on pretty often. And I like, I almost fall asleep because the music is so fucking boring. It doesn't go anywhere. It, the tone is not interesting. The direction is not interesting. I think they're pretty overrated. So I'm going to put sleep in the low tier. I don't get it. Maybe. Sleep is really, really acclaimed though. So if maybe someone wants to explain what, what Sleep is about, then uh, maybe I can get into it. But they, they're also a band that have like, they have a fucking album with one entire song on it. And I'm like, stop fucking doing that. It's it's annoying. It wasn't really that good when when Edge of Sanity did it, you know. It, it was pretty shit when fucking Green Carnation did it. And yeah, Sleep doing it, it doesn't help either. So whatever. Um, Slipknot I'll put them in mid there there's not really a Slipknot album I would say I'll go front to back or is front to back really enjoyable like probably Volume 3 is my favorite or like it has the most catchy songs uh, Iowa is probably the most consistent one uh, the debut has the most good songs on it I would say or like the most memorable songs uh, like, well the debut debut and Iowa are pretty consistent um, yeah I don't know I enjoy them um, it does kind of get old though after a while so that's why they're not even high tier and I think they're pretty overrated as well Corey Taylor and his fucking neck um, I'm kind of tired of hearing about them but they have their moments so yeah, I'll give them kudos where it's where to do I mean everything after all hope is gone though like I did kind of lose all hope in them when fucking when they fired Joey Jordison for no fucking reason and now he passed away so, uh, Slipknot are fucking dickheads like why did he get fired? Joey, Jor Joey Jordan was easily your best member and you just fucking fire him like that. And then, you know, Paul Gray passed away, which, you know, sucks. So they make an album about that. But where's fucking Joey Jordan's tribute album? Like, he just fucking deserves it. But yeah, he passed away now as well. And uh, yeah, it will forever be a shitty fucking choice to have to fire. What the fuck is wrong with that decision? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why fire your best member? What the fuck? Um, SOD, which is a band with, uh, I think, Suicidal Tendencies and Anthrax members. I've heard a bit of it. It was fine. It's um, it's basically just Suicidal Tendencies. Did I put them in Avenger? Because I definitely heard them. Uh, I think they're still coming up, whatever. Like, I don't really give a shit, but I have heard them, so that wouldn't be accurate to put them in Avenger. Huh. Did I already rank them? I don't even remember, but I do think they were on this list, though, weren't they? I mean, they are a huge band, so they should be. Yeah, here, okay. Uh, Sodom. Uh, Sodom is pretty consistent, but again, Trash Metal doesn't really interest me, but Sodom is definitely one of the better bands, I would say that. Soulfly is a uh, Max Cavalier solo band. Um, not necessarily interested in it myself. Uh, Soundgarden. I am way more into Alice in Chains myself because they, they just hit harder. I can put Soundgarden high tier, but I'm honestly not really into a single album of theirs. So I guess they're still mid tier. They do have some amazing songs though, like uh, you know, Rusty Case is pretty good and uh, uh, Spoonman and uh, Room a Thousand Years Wide, I really like that song. And I mean, of course, you have Black Hole Sun, which is, is, of course, a fucking classic. That song is amazing, so... I'm not going to deny that, but I'm not really into a particular album front to back from them, like I have with Alice in Chains, with Dirt and uh, the Jar of Flies EP, I really love. I haven't really, I don't really have that with uh, with Soundgarden, but I do think that Chris Cornell is the easily the best singer in Soundgarden. For sure. Uh, Spinal Tap, enjoyable, but their music is pretty kind of shit, I think. Uh, Static X, enjoyable, but they do kind of get old after a while for me. But I do want to listen more to Static X because they go come on shovel quite a bit, and I do enjoy it. Steel Panther, entertaining, but uh, I have to listen more to them to really make a full judgment. 
I'm not really into joke bands, if you can tell. Fucking Steppenwolf and that other band, whatever. Spinal Tap. Steppenwolf, don't don't know why I said it like that. Uh, generic bands that I don't give a shit about. I can't put them in loader, but I've only heard that Born to be Wild song. I can't really, really rate them like that. Just based on one song. Uh, Strapping Young Lad. I've heard some other stuff. Wasn't really into it, but it was definitely better than the than fucking Devon Down. So I'll give him Mitzer for that. He has some decent stuff, I guess. Uh, Stradivarius. Yeah, there's like one fan who's called Strato, who's I think he named some after this band. I'm not sure. Suffocation, same thing as Scannable Course, but less iconic, I suppose. So just more like meat and potatoes death metal with a bit bit more technicality to it. So maybe it's better, maybe not. I've I've heard Pierce within, it was pretty decent, so I'll put him in uh I think I looked for it once and I got like a fucking parody song without even knowing it, so that was pretty funny. Suicidal tendencies, pretty mid. I've heard the body count cover of uh, institutionalized and that made me laugh so fucking loud. So I kind of love body count right now, but I'm not really into suicidal tendencies, but they're, they're not on this list, I believe. I didn't see them at least. Otherwise, I would have told a story. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, this band dodged a fucking bullet last time because I did not recognize that this was summoning. And this is summoning. This is their logo. So, hey. Um, yeah, I fucking hate summoning. Uh, I've heard one other albums one time and I was suffering. I really fucking hated it. So, um, yeah, this band is fucking garbage. I hate them a lot. So, shit, dear. Fucking awful. I hate them. The music doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't interest me. It has... It just... It's just fucking useless. It just sounds like fucking shit. This is just dungeon synth bullshit music. So it's basically just Burzum, but but without the cool riffs, without the without the things that made Burzum interesting, you know. So bad influence, bad influence part. So no, um, they are kind of cool, but they are literally just fucking drone. Like I mean, Boris is drone as well, but they have like actual like hard-hitting fucking dope as metal wrist which i love which is the reason they're got here as soon as doesn't really have that but they have an interesting atmosphere though so man whatever mid there maybe low i don't really give a shit um yeah swallow the sun i said with uh with my dying bride they're basically dead band but uh more accessible and more up my alley so i put them in high tier for that it's pretty enjoyable i like the first song quite a bit um through her Silvery Body. I like that song quite a bit. Recommend it. Pretty sick. Symphony X. Um, pretty derivative band, but they do have some standout moments, so I'm putting them in mid-tier as opposed to low. They are somewhat enjoyable, but they do get old kind of quick, so... Meh. Uh, System of Down. Well, you already saw it in my server. We, we like it quite a bit, so I'll put them in top tier for that. Or I put them in top tier. Um, yeah, great band, great alternative band, one of my favorites. Um, yeah, I do fuck with System of Down quite a bit, so uh, yeah, they're great, love them. Love their first album and their last album, not really, well, everything in between is still good though, but uh, the first and last are fucking awesome, I think. Terrorizer, <coughs> Terrorizer, one of the few grindcore bands I actually kind of like, so I'll put them in mid there for that. Sending with, uh, well, Terrorizers, Grindcore all the way. Carcass is more like they had a, a face, you know. Uh, but yeah, Terrorizers first album is pretty decent. Everything after I've heard is garbage, but I haven't heard it. Uh, Tesseract, heard some stuff, didn't interest me. Maybe if I hear more, I like it. Meh. Testament, Walmart, Metallica. Um, I listened to that fucking YBS uh, podcast once, and they, they, they say, oh yeah, listen to Testament. They're they're, they're, they fucking shit on Metallica. I'm like... Desmond literally just sounds like a Walmart Metallica to me. They just sound, sound like a dumber, more obnoxious version uh, of them. So I don't I don't get that. Well, I mean, they're basically just saying that piss Metallica fans also. I guess they got me, whatever. Um, the Angelic Process is... I didn't even read that, read this the first time. Uh, interesting band. They make drone and shoegaze music, but their shit just doesn't really progress to anything like Boris does or... Even Earth does to a certain degree. 
Um, but I love their album covers. I have one of their album covers on like my favorites. This one, this compilation with the wing. Love the album cover, but um, yeah, their tone is pretty cool, but they don't really go anywhere. So, meh. Can't really rate them though. I haven't heard enough, but it didn't really interest me. Dillinger's Cape Plan. I tried listening to this band, like, I think multiple times. Sometimes they come along in my shovel because I base my shovel sometimes off of Converge. So you get like Borch and, uh, and Dillinger's Cape Plan in Math Corridor. You know? And uh, yeah, I um, I think Dillinger's Cape Plan is fucking garbage. I don't get it. It sounds like noise to me. It doesn't sound co cohesive. The music doesn't go anywhere. It just sounds like they're just thrashing on their instruments the, the guy like he literally like beats his fucking head into a fucking um um ju just into fucking speakers you know until his head is like a bloody pulp um he loses fucking mind on stage uh the the members sound all out of tune i don't fucking get it man like what? What do people see in Dillinger that I don't see? It just sounds like fucking shit to me. It doesn't progress anywhere. The music, it just sounds like a fucking bad conversion press. And I don't fucking know. I fucking hate Dillinger's Cape Plan. It's weird, you know, because I didn't really like Converge at first either. So I listened to them more and now I fucking love them. So why do I not have that with Dillinger's Cape Plan? I, 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 sometimes they still come on shovel and I still don't fucking get it, man. Like if Dillinger Escape Plan, Dillinger Escape Plan fans wanna explain that to me, like what makes the band good in your eyes or in your ears, whatever, explain it to me. You can contact me on Discord. I'll probably leave leave my uh, info in the description because I am interested, but I don't get it. I don't get the band. Uh, this is the Faceless. I think they have a really chic album or uh, band logo, whatever. Uh, looks pretty good. I didn't see that this was the phaser, but I got into them. Pretty solid band. They are my favorite deathcore band. Um, I will put them in high tier. I like them quite a bit. I've listened to Akadama quite a bit. Like that album a good amount. Um, listened to the second album, which was pretty enjoyable. I think the second and third one are probably better, but the first one I've just heard more. Um, I've heard the fourth album is kind of whatever, I think so. Uh, but I'm interested in hearing more from what I've heard. I like them quite a bit, so definitely recommend it. If you're into like deathcore, which is pretty situation for most people, I think. But well, I don't really like it. But uh, the gathering or uh, face is pretty good. The gathering, um, they are my favorite Dutch band, and they're still like a mid tier for me. Uh, they are like a gothic kind of progressive band, which is kind of weird because that sounds like it would be like an ideal band for me. But I don't know, their music doesn't always go anywhere. The music does kind of stagnate after a while. It does kind of get monotonous or boring, you know. But I do like the album with the yellow generator, but I think that album is pretty good. Uh, it's pretty good atmosphere. It's more like a post-rock kind of vibe to it as opposed to gothic metal, which I don't think they ever really sounded like that, in my opinion. Or not consistently enough for me. But um, yeah, I like fucking uh yellow generator but quite a bit i recommend it one of my fans was really into it and she made me a fan too so maybe high tier but i don't know i haven't really heard a lot of their stuff after that to really consider it to consider them high tier but like all the albums they have lower ratings so it would essentially just be more of the same it's just weaker so i don't know i could put them high tier though for the yellow album but i don't know like, I like it, but I don't love it, so I don't know. Maybe high tier one day. Because they are easily my favorite Dutch band, for sure. I'm almost there, guys. Um, What the fuck? Can't even read that. Tyrion. I think the most popular symphonic metal band. I don't get it. Vocals are bad. In instrumentation is not the best. Um, yeah, they have like death growls, but also it's symphonic, which kind of reminds me of LV, but it's like way worse. So I don't, I don't get it. Low tier. I like Nightwish way more, way more elegant, way more pretty. Uh, Tin Lizzy. Don't consider it a metal band, but uh, the boys are back in town. Hell yeah. Uh, 
Um, Tiamat. Tiamat is pretty good. I like them quite a bit. Or, well, I like a Wild Honey. Uh, I'm not really into anything else. They are kind of a weird, creepy kind of band, so not always in the mood for, for that, but they are pretty good in Gothic, so I'll put them in mid-tier. Maybe they're high-tier one day. Uh, tool. I am going to look at some Tool albums because I do love Tool. I thought, I thought this was a fucking logo for the Weird Al Nirvana parody. I don't know why I thought about that on the fucking metal side. Um, yeah, you know, it, it might be a bit unfair for me. <laughs> Man, it looks like a fucking troll. I don't know, like a literal troll. Um, you know, it is a bit unfair for me to say, oh, they're not gods here because Fear Inoculum is boring as shit. Which is weird for me to say because, you know, I have Opeth and fucking Inflames in God here, you know. And they have like three albums that I don't give a shit about. And Fear Inoculum, it is boring as fuck in my opinion. But I could see myself vibe to it. It is decent white noise, you know, for an album. I don't think it's good, but it is somewhat okay for white noise, you know. I don't really listen to it a lot, but I could see myself listen to it. For th for that reason, you know, so that could be my white noise album. Undertow could be like my alternative jam. Anima Anima is like the Kino King album. Anima's fucking awesome. Atmosphere's dope. Songs are great. Uh, Eulogy, you know, Anima title track, Stink Fist, all fucking masterpieces in my opinion. Letter Rattles just is a fucking godsend album. And the title track Parabola, Tix and Legions, um the fucking opening song. Uh, the Grudge is amazing. I missed that video that was online. Man, why, why did Tools lay about to fucking strike it down? That was so good. If, if you know me, if you are like a big Tool fan, you probably know. Uh, Vagarious Jambi, Wings from Me Wings from is fucking emotional. Ride 2 is really fucking satisfying. Um, Intention, I really love the vibe to that shit, so. Um, yeah, I... Well, I, you know, of course, I love their first four albums. Their first four albums are all fucking great. Fear Inoculum is okay. I did dislike it, but it's fine, I guess. So, Tool has... I would still say they have flawless discography, despite me, me not really liking the last one. But uh, it's still all right to me. So, yeah, and Ladder Radish is a masterpiece, masterpiece, so... I do listen more to Deftones now these days, but Tool, I do think that Tool is like the best alternative metal band. So, yeah, Tool might be top tier, but I do think they're better than System of Down as well. So, Tool is god tier. I love Tool. Tool is my shit. I jam to Tool. You can vibe to Tool. Maynard is a great vocalist. I love Anima and Laterales a lot. 10,000 Days is great. Um, yeah. Their shit is fucking great. I love them. The best alternative metal bands, in my opinion. Like, if you listen to the latter uh, as the title track, and, like, if your mind is not blown, then, uh, yeah, just stop listening to music. You're not getting it. <laughs> what does the fucking Rick and Morty meme again? Uh, it's too high Q for you to get it, you know, that, that type of shit. It's fucking like tools essentially Rick and Morty of metal in a way. <laughs> because the fans are obnoxious and the worst. But the 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 content itself is pretty great, so I like it quite a bit for that. It's kind of a good, perfect comparison in a way, really, if you if you think about it. Uh Tristania. I've gotten into Tristania, which is like similar to Draconian, uh, kind of like a gothic metal aesthetic. They have that sound. Uh, they are less intense, though. So if you're not, if you can get into the death doom sound of Draconian, but you still like the female vocals, I can recommend Tristania. Um, I like Beyond the Veil quite a bit. Their first album is pretty decent, but Beyond the Veil definitely has more re replay value for me. Um, and Gina is one of my favorite songs now. Fucking love that song. I have that with with like a fucking old old school fucking. 80s or 90s anime AMV so that looks dope as shit and Gina fucking fucking rules Beyond the Veil is pretty classic album so I'm gonna put them in the high tier I like Tristana quite a bit 
I did say that I didn't like their tone a bit, but that was mainly I was addressing the first album or like their later albums, but their first albums are pretty fucking good, so I like them quite a bit. But uh, they ain't draconian, but they're still good. Uh, Trivium, I've listened to a bit of Trivium to their debut, which is pretty decent. Um, I'm gonna give them mid there. They are the most popular metalcore band, but um, Kill Switch and especially Converge are way fucking better, so just listen to them. But uh, if you want more metalcore, Trivium is not a bad suggestion. I do like them. Uh, Trollfest, man. Ventral, I wish. Uh, Trouble, which is old old school doom metal band, which I never listened to. But I've heard Deep Cuts talk about it, so there's that. Oh, Twisted Sister. Um, I do like that fucking mashup that fucking SpongeBob did with the fucking you want uh, I want to rock type of shit. That's my favorite glam metal moment ever. So I could consider them high tier for that, but they didn't do that, you know. It was a fucking movie. So I don't know. Uh, Twisted Sister, I'll put them slightly above Molly Crew, and I'll say, or uh, yeah, here I'll say fucking. Uh, they are. The better bands, in my opinion. So yeah, slightly better, but not by much. Probably my favorite glam band. Top or negative? Um, high, if not top tier. Their albums are a bit inconsistent though, so I'm putting I'm putting them next to Paradise because they're pretty close to me. Um, yeah, it goes either way. You know, Paradise was more in the mood for if I'm more into, you know, more gothic metal. Um, type of negative, I throw more if I'm just in a more alternative mood, which I'm usually more in the mood for. So I think I slightly prefer type of negative, but I don't know. It goes either way for me. Uh, great band, Peter Steele, great singer. Atmosphere is great in our music. Uh, Love You to Death is one of my all-time favorite songs. I Don't Want to Be Me is really catchy. Uh, Black Number One is great. So they have a bunch of fucking great songs. Uh, you know, Bloody Kisses, classic album. Um, October Rose might be my personal favorite. So yeah, they have a good of they have a good of hard shit, good of dope shit. So I like them quite a bit. Type of negative. I mean, I don't think that's that unpopular to say, but type of negative is pretty sick. Could be top tier, but their albums are a bit inconsistent in my opinion. Uh, Ulver, love Ulver, uh, top tier, experimental, weird out there, you know, weird and good, unlike Gorgut. <laughs> I keep fucking punching the band fucking down, fucking Gorgut. But uh, Ulver, great band. Um, I love their weird kind of mystique. They, you know. There might be, I don't know, it's a weird comparison. They might be the radio head of metal, if that makes sense, because every album is different. Every album does something else to elevate their genre, you know, or does something to add to the genre, not necessarily elevate it, but it does bring something new to the table, to every genre. You know, they have done a fucking triple album. They've done, like, you know... They have an album that is like an ode to the whole Portis at Massive Attack, you know, that whole 90s trip up era. They've done an ambient album, which I fucking love. Reminds me of like the Silent Hill soundtrack, Silent Hill 2, especially for me. Uh, for most people, I think. That is fucking great. Um, love Shadows of the Sun is probably my favorite one to put on. Shadows of, Shadows, sh fucking up. Shadows of the Sun is great bedtime music. Uh, especially of Vigil. Vigil's fucking beautiful. Love that song. Uh, there was like one song uh, from Perdition City, which I really love. I forgot uh, Always of Hallways or some shit. That is fucking great. It's my favorite over song. Um, Burke Dad is like a black metal album that actually has audible bass on it. So you definitely have to give over some credit there because they actually made a fucking black metal album sound listenable, you know, as far as production goes. It's not recorded in a, in a toilet, toilet bowl. It's actually producing a pr professional studio or that's that's how it sounds to me at least so definitely give uh over some credit there they are good as shit in my opinion i love them interesting unique diverse everything that i want in a band over has it i might even listen to vigil tonight i'm in really in the mood for it right now so love that band uh, Vader, uh, generic copycat clone of Morbid Angel, zero interest, low tier. 
Van Halen, I don't consider them metal per se, but um, like my favorite song for them literally is a fucking pop rock song, which is called Dreams. I love Dreams with uh, Sammy Hagar. I'm not necessarily a big Sammy guy. I'm more of a David Lee Roth guy myself, but um, like Dreams is so fucking amazing. I have that with a fucking... Uh, with a strike, which is AMV, which is fucking great. Oh my god, the fucking <laughs> the fucking fan version of the show is fucking wild. But um, yeah, the, the the clip, the the song, you know, dreams. I love it. Um, not necessarily into a whole ma- uh, once I made a Van Halen album, but they're still pretty decent though. So I'm gonna put them in mid tier. Maybe high tier. I love dreams though. Dreams is one of my all time favorite songs, but. Uh, it's a bit inconsistent. Uh, Will my good good cynic song, Vector, um, modern trash metal band, which I actually kind of like, which is you know unique, because I think all trash metal now is generic and useless for me. So to me at least, but uh, yeah, they could be high tier, but I'm not into trash metal and the vocals are screechy as fuck, uh, so I'm not into that. Uh, I think the band broke up now because they. I think they were allegedly being pedophiles, so they just broke up or something. I don't really know the, the whole story. If someone wants to explain that to me, sure. <clears throat> I am somewhat interested in Vector, so I might get more into them, but I don't know. Uh, I think that I think I did put them on my Doom Slayer playlist, so that's cool. Uh, Venom. Venom is the most overrated fucking garbage band that I've heard probably ever in metal. Like, they are considered, like... A greatest of all time band, but everything I've heard from them sounds like fucking shit, so I'm putting them in shit there. Um, the fucking lead singer of Venom, like, like Marco Eckerfeld is a big Venom fan, you know, because he likes, he is an old fart, he says, so he likes old shit like Venom and Deep Purple, but Deep Purple is way better. Um, but Venom, you know, he was like at, uh, I forgot his name, but you know, the, the fucking lead guy. He came up to him once and he was like, oh, I can have an autograph. I'm a big fan of yours. And he's just like shaking his hand and looking the other way. Yeah, sure. Go away, kid. You know, thinking that. I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Like, Michael motherfucking Eckerfeld. Like, the dude that that I, like, adore. Like, he is a fan of your shitty fucking garbage band. And you're going to disrespect him like that. He's probably just jealous. Like, he's just a fucking boomer. Yeah, Venom is garbage. Uh, if you want, like, a lo-fi first wave of black metal band... Celtic Frost fucking destroys them. Might even put them in high tier just because Venom is so garbage. Um, yeah, Venom fucking sucks. Like, I, I, I get that people are into, like, the fucking... Um, li- like, people like that they are sloppy and that they are raw or some shit, but, it, like, it does not sound good. Like, the band was supposed to play lousy and sloppy lie because that adds more to the like satanic ritual or whatever but slayer is more in tune than you and that's saying something and they sound better than you fucking uh like people claim judas priest to have satanic shit in their music they sound way fucking tighter than you ever did so yeah there are bands that have a sat- satanic sound but they sound way fucking scarier and way more decent and functional as a band way more coherent than venom ever did so yeah venom is hot garbage i hate them uh virgin steel uh i've heard some of their stuff uh i think they are symphonic metal and like hard rock it more sounded like but didn't really interest me uh voivod's uh weird trash model band that i wasn't into or like progressive well, more so progressive. They have trash elements in their music. Um, progressive and trash model, I guess. So I guess the OG Vector in a way, but Vector is better in my opinion. So I'm not into it myself. I couldn't get into it. It's weird shit. Low tier. Meh. Uh, Volbeat. <laughs> I was talking to this fucking guy yesterday and I was like, is there a metal band that you actually do know or might like? And he was like, oh, Volbeat. And I'm like, Dude, really? Volbeat is not fucking metal. And that's that's how the discussion ended. I was like, yeah, if you're going to say Volbeat, you're, you don't like metal. And I already knew that. But I was like, maybe he's going to say an actual metal band. But Volbeat is not fucking metal. Like fucking... <sighs> fucking country elvis score. Whatever they are. Obnoxious, annoying. Just 
what are even are they? Like, you're not into metal if you like Volbeat. The fucking garbage band. Uh, Wasp is like one of the OG glam metal bands. And a lot of people say that they are like great. But their stuff just is a bit too in, in your face for me. So I could not really get into it myself. So for me, they're low tier. But if someone wants to say they're great, you know, watch Razor Fist suck their dick for like an hour. But I'm not into it. Um, Watain, kind of the same thing, but I've not heard enough, but I wasn't into it. I mean, White Zombie, same shit as Rob Zombie. I don't hear any real significant difference. So, wh whatever, loads here. Uh, Whitechapel, Whitechapel is probably my favorite. Well, nah, the faceless. Whitechapel has the highest highs in Deathcore, I would say, but, um, but I've only heard like a couple of their songs, and I did like Whitechapel quite a bit. I would probably say they are my personal favorite deathcore band, but uh yeah, fuck it. Let's put them in mid tier, whatever. Uh mid if not high tier, but Whitechapel's a bit too inconsistent for me. But I mean it's not you know that fucking band. And that last album, oh my god. There's a reason they broke up guys. It's so bad. Um yeah they're definitely better than that band. Uh Winder Pretty enjoyable melodic black metal band. I, de I do prefer Dissection. I listen more to Dissection, but uh, Winder's still great. Other albums are pretty good, but I'm not always in the mood for it. So it's kind of uh, it's kind of like that, but uh, still good. Still like them quite a bit. Uh, where are we at? Where are we at? We're almost there. Uh, Winter Sun. I did put them in low tier. I've kind of grown to like them. You know, it is the guy behind. And Sifrim and and Sifrim is an amazing band. So there's still some DNA in Winterstone, but it's way weaker than in fucking. I do want to look it up. Is fucking Winterstone like are are they older than and Sifrim? Because I think Winterstone is also bigger. I think um, ninety five. Winston is really fucking popular, right? Yeah, here. Uh, 2004. Yeah, okay, so it came after Answer From. Answer From is the better band, for sure. Um, to me, at least. I think they're pretty overrated, but uh, they have some decent songs. Their first album has its moments, you know. Great cover. I love the cover. I think it's one of my favorites, maybe. Yeah, that's a really cool cover, though. I might add it to this list. Um... I don't see it. I don't know. I could add it on there, but it doesn't really do a lot. Um, wh what the fuck? Witch vomit? What the fuck? Um, within Temptation, I did put them in Poser Garbage, which they kind of are, but uh, I meant the same thing as Epica. I did that the last time, so I put them properly in low tier now for anyone that was bothered by that. Uh, where are you, Epica? Right here. Pretty underwhelming, shitty fucking Nightwish clones. Um, yeah, I think that's it. That's the end of it. Um, yeah, I don't know any of these other bands. I've heard Xandrix, which sounded meh. Pretty generic. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, so... These bands are bands that I wouldn't even call metal, per se, or, well... Demo Borgir has metal in it, I guess, but like fucking Demi Lovato likes you. I mean, come on, uh, you're not, er, I don't know. I hate Demi Borgir, cannot stand them. Um, these are bands that I think I'd rather have like a fucking uh, a pencil in, in my ear than like fucking scrape, scraping to my ear than putting these bands on, in my opinion. So there's that low tier bands that I don't really get, but. Um, I am open to listen more to them, but from what I've heard, it was pretty underwhelming. Uh, all these bands, I think, are all right, decent. They might have like a god tier song, but not really an album that I'm fully into. High tier bands, I at least like an album from them. Um, or they have like some really amazing songs that I will love forever. Um, pretty good bands, like them quite a bit, do recommend. Uh, yeah, dope. Uh, top tier bands, Cream of the Crawl, probably they, they probably define their genre. Um, yeah, also highly recommended and consider some of my all time favorites. And God tier are bands that 
I can put on any time of the day and I don't get tired of it. I don't, it never get old, never gets old for me. Uh, it's always great to put on. It's great for vibes. It's great for atmosphere. It's great for riffs, you know. Everything about these uh, seven bands, now seven, uh, is is amazing, flawless. Yeah, I think I generally put a two on top because uh, because the last album I just hate, or I hated the last album back in the stream, but now I'm kind of like, eh, yeah, I like it. Well, it's all right, you know. It doesn't really tarnish their career, I think, but uh, it's just kind of whatever. But I still love fucking tool. I still love listening to them. So that is my tier list. Um, if you agree with it, then you can let me know in the comments what do you think about it. You're probably already gone. Almost fucking four hours later, but I trimmed the fat. This used to be fucking six, seven, or maybe even eight hours in the past. And now I did it in a bit over three hours. Like, it took me a bit longer than a fucking Lord of the Rings film. So give me some credit there. Well... I don't think that Lord of the Rings is really true now. I have seen the movies, but it's been a, it's been a while. Um, man, I wish Dane was on there. <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever. Um, I'm pretty tired right now. I'm going to eat. Um, let me know what you think about the tier list. Do you agree with that? Do you disagree? Um, what would you change? What's, like, if I put a band in lower shit there, uh, let me know why um, you disagree with that or you agree. You can add me on Discord, like I said, almost done 6957. Probably put my info in the description. Um, I'm probably going to make an, a video about Between the Bear and Me soon, but I'm pretty fucking tired right now, so I'm not going to do that in a bit. But maybe eventually. Um, yeah, I had fun doing this. I just wanted to kind of trim the fat on the streams because I was going on about fucking... Uh, what, what was it again? About fucking, you know, emo, edgy band names and simping for fucking women in bands i'm like yeah i love me some female vocals but dude shut the fuck up you know so <clears throat> so um turn the fat for like six hours long so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna add more fucking fat to it so i'm just gonna end it now that's basically what i'm trying to say uh thank you for watching this if you uh, appreciate uh all the fucking effort i went through for like trimming all this fucking shit just for a more enjoyable experience on the tier list than uh you know, support me, give me a like, um, add me on Discord. I'll probably add info uh, in the description uh, to discuss with me what you agree and disagree with. Um, in my server, we're into gaming, you know. We like games quite a bit. We like music, metal and shit, or other genres. Uh, anime, you know, a lot. The, the, the Triforce of shit I give a shit about, those three things, mainly. Um, yeah, I talk about metal quite a bit like in this video but i also talk about other shit you know if you're interested in what i listen to more if you if you're interested in my music opinions then i have like a whole playlist on uh just in my playlist you know if you go to my channel it's in my playlist right there so you can watch that list the weird mucor crap thing has like over a thousand songs so you can check that out if you're interested in my taste in, in my musical taste so um yeah, thanks for watching, for whoever joined us. Um, just watch this video. I have a fucking... I have a live stream doing this as well, but this video is way more efficient. It, just go to the point straight up. Whereas my fucking stream, I just go on and on about fucking raging music to topics, which is bullshit, you know? So, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'm glad I improved it. I uh, like my metal stream quite a bit. But I think I like this, uh, this more efficient... I think I like this efficient video just a bit more.